All right. Can you all hear me now? I promise Discord is a real app. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. Go ahead and my phone real quick. <clears throat> we'll be starting in about 10 minutes. I am back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, went on Ira, Lavender Fox, Dino Kaiju, Dr. Revan, Raven. Uh, I'm going to be screwing that name right up. Revan. Um, potato, potato. Potato, uh, tomato, tomato. Uh, but yeah. Uh, hope y'all are enjoying this event packed day so far. Uh, we had uh, the the uh, the Gamescom thing a uh, couple hours. Uh, uh, the, we, yeah, we had uh, and let's see. Oh, we have we have this going on, and then right after that we got uh, right after that we got the um. I know how to. English today, I promise y'all. Uh, later tonight, we got the Rebel Replays Multiplayer Madness uh, for uh, where me, uh, uh, Shane, uh, Miss Remix herself, along with uh, some other people, will be uh, you know going head to head in Team Sonic Racing, and y'all gonna be and y'all gonna be reminded how much I suck at Team Sonic Racing. Uh, Festival of Ages is something new to me. Well, they, well, here's hoping that we use our platform to remedy that, uh, because uh, you know I'm I'm personally excited to say the least. Uh, and I'm gonna leave it at that because I'm gonna let um, I'm gonna let Glitch Kitten and them uh, get to that whenever we get to it. <laughs> Going on, Angie. Um, well, Sonic Team Racing is going to be exciting watching y'all race. I don't know about Sonic Team Racing, but Team Sonic Racing, I'm definitely excited for. Uh, Gamescom was really game tastic. Um, uh, yeah, it, it, sure, absolutely. These good cheese. It's mm. made a little run to Walmart in, um after the Gamescom thing because the uh, so Josh, what do you have in mind? What do you mean by that? I don't know, like maybe something fun. I mean, we gonna be doing that later, uh, with the with the rebel replays. So I mean, if you, uh, for you know, for those you know, for any fans of mine that want that find enjoyment in my pain, you'll be able to you'll be able to experience experience it there. Uh, that'll be awesome. Um, uh, I'm kidding. It's always a fun time. Um. <laughs> I would join the Revo replays, but I might not be able to join. I mean, you don't have to. It's okay because it'll it'll go up later. Marvel's more sparking zero in spark zero is something I'm interested in that requires money uh, that I don't necessarily have yet, uh, especially cause, especially because I've already put trying to put in a pre order for Sonic X Shadow Generations, uh, which you know we had a trailer for that, which you know we had a trailer for that as as well, um, and. Uh, I, I currently have an irrational hatred with some members of the of the fandom over over people over people not knowing how movie marketing works. But that's a conversation for another time. Uh, if you were if you were at the Gamescom stream, I you already know how I feel, and I'm a, and I'm gonna keep my mouth shut on that beyond that because this isn't place for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, hello there, Rockstar. Um, all right, we got one of our hosts up. How's yeah. I am. Oh, I am so ready to geek out about Sega stuff. I feel that. I feel that. All right, let me get a bib up. It's not letting me bring them up for some reason. Uh, Can you handle that for me? I'm here. Yeah, there we go. (laughs) We have our fellow Knights fan. Yippee! Hello, everyone. I'm Vib, and I will be one of your co-hosts for today for the Festival of Ages Q&A panel. Absolutely. Which luck? Which uh, we're luck? We we're still we still early. We still got a few minutes. I'm just yeah. Here. I know. I know. But we're getting things ready on her her end for this. Yeah. Screen. Yeah. I was just yeah. getting. People, I'm just getting people in the door though. Uh, Glitch is going to be streaming the whole thing on Twitch, so that is awesome. Definitely absolute. go support um Glitch on there. Absolutely. 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 And you know, we'll be doing we'll be doing cross we'll be doing cross streaming in our end as well, because, you know, it, it was we're going to, you know, we usually put the edited up edited version up on YouTube and the other pages later, regardless. So this is a you know nice little extra motion, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Awesome stuff. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. This is like my first VTuber collab off of like the usual streaming platform I use. So. Awesome stuff. I cannot wait for this. There you go. There you go. And uh, once we get 
glitch kitten up. Uh, because I I'm, I want to wait I want to wait till all three are up before actually before the stream actually starts. Just just, just to be fair to our to our guests. Uh, Dang, I did the whole welcoming thing too. Yeah, oh you, gosh, shucky darn. You you we hadn't even started the stream. This will this will just be this will just be like this will just be like for the for the YouTube exclusive. Uh, Hi YouTube, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, what up, what up internet? Yeah, uh, Josh, hi, internet. You, yeah, Josh, if you don't mind me asking, what is the Festival of Ages? That is frankly a stupid question because you're going to find that out in a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> they don't, all, all will be explained very soon. Uh, oh, apparently, all will be revealed. Yes. <laughs> oh, and uh, apparently, gl apparently, gl apparently, Glitch Kitten is live on their end already. Uh, <laughs> Oh, nice. I was nice. not I was not expecting them to do that, uh, but, uh, but that's okay. That is totally that is okay. Fine. That uh, is okay. Let me just pay pay her real quick. And the there there Yay! there we go. They're 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 a little they're a little fast for us. Ironically, uh, oh, I, they gotta I, stay. They're on the starting soon screen. Let's let them stay there for a little bit just to like get yeah, people. We still in. we still got time. <laughs> we still got time. It's He's okay. Still got plenty of time. <laughs> Hello, Everything lady. Gucci, trust me. <laughs> we good. Everything is a okay. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep, 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 yep. I love, I love her starting dream with, with like the the cute little icon waving and the music playing. I thought that was, I thought that was a lot of fun. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I, I I came across like one or two with one or two of the streams myself, and I thought that was super dope. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta stop. I don't really use Twitch much, but I, I gotta stop by uh, glitches streams more. Yeah, it would no, be awesome. No worries, me. <laughs> From like one VTuber to another, I think it would be awesome. Sure. And it's uh, and it's six o'clock now, so uh, I don't know if they, if I think whenever, whenever they're ready to pop up. Uh, I can get the stream start. I got everything set up on my end. I literally just have to press the go live button. Yeah. Yep. And I, I just told, I just, uh, I just pained her in the thread to, to come in and said, you guys, I got you just like making final preparations for stream. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Worst <laughs> case scenario, worst case scenario, I can push it back if they need it. But, uh, uh but I mean, I mean, I, I wouldn't I, worry about that. I think we're fine. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't expecting them to do that now, uh, so it kind of caught me off guard. But that's a, that's okay. That is okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and let me fire up. Let me fire up that waiting music. Anyway. <laughs> Do, and so on and so forth. <laughs> I, started, I started firing up the waiting music. <laughs> yeah. We we love that. Let's go. That waiting song slaps. Whatever it is. I, I, oh uh, yeah, for sure. I think you put out a play. <laughs> I think you put a playlist uh, somewhere like a bit below. Let me see. <laughs> Miss so many gifs in the chat. Wow. Yes, Miss Glitch Kitten. Where are you at? <laughs> it's just coming. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just messing. Uh, <laughs> I guess you're getting there because the festival of ages logo is, is the next thing. Gotcha. Not about all the, the whatever, whatever pauses happen in between. Is I can just cut out. <laughs> uh, yeah, glitch is just doing a, a reading right now. So, yeah. Uh, okay, that's why. Yeah, because I'm, I'm actually looking at the the chat. Right now, our, our wow, I can't stream. believe you guys get a peek into what goes on behind the scenes. There we go. We can start a little streamception. Why not? <laughs> Woohoo! Streamception. We love that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of work goes into planning these panels, so you're getting a little sneak peek yeah. at some of the planning that goes on. True indeed. Yep, 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 yep. The next screen is going to happen soon, so. Okay, off topic. Why is Pokemon doing a just chatting stream on Twitch? <laughs> why, why not? Pokemon's doing a just chatting stream on Twitch. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is your favorite Sega franchise? I, I I already see a question in chat. You know, I I might as well answer it. 
Uh, judging by my profile picture, I think that's a very obvious answer, but... <laughs> <laughs> um in, in case oh they're streaming the pokemon anime oh i was gonna be like why are they doing a zatsu then why are they doing a just chatting stream what is going on <laughs> there you go they, they they gonna chat while watching pokemon live commentary what? no way a little mst3 little mst3k for you <laughs> <laughs> um anyways my favorite sega franchise is knights next question <laughs> Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, Glitch is just introducing everything, so yeah. Yeah, because I comment I commented I commented underneath just to mess with them. I'm like, hey, oh glitch, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> love the love the regal ruin music. We love that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, I, I died. What happened? Oh, no. <laughs> I, oh, no. I, I, I think we all uh, had started invading this chat, too. No! <laughs> Riala, please. No, no. Now is not the time. There, we, can't have, no... we can't have stream scuff now. Damn, <laughs> damn we just died live on the air. It's that kind Riala, of Riala, here? Sega crossover? No way. I can't believe Riala's real. I can't believe that. <laughs> wow, my best friend's real. Wow. <laughs> no way. That's crazy. That crazy. Riala from the hit Sega Saturn franchise Nights into Dreams. Crazy. Oh, yeah, that first. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. The funny little red dream jester. I In, love knights. Yeah, I, what, I'm, what I'm summoning all of the knights fans. I've just brought up that name and all of the knights fans are here. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Uh, yeah. Is, is there anything like days? Uh, I'm going to stop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, good thought. <laughs> I don't normally look like this. And she's talking all right. Hey, there's Glitch. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now I can start. Now I can start the stream. <laughs> Uh, we can start now. Maybe. See, see, are they in the audience right now? I don't see them. No, they're not there yet. <laughs> okay, hey, hey, I'll move them here. Yep. Okay, I got them. I got them over here. Hello. Hello. Nice man, she calls. Do you respond? <laughs> um, there. Anyways. There, there she is. Whatever she's funny. Hello. There we go. You you late for your own panel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, that, 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 all right, that'll that'll do it for the stream. Good night, everyone. I'm kidding. Whoa, I'm just, no, <laughs> oh, God, it's just oh, it's gone. over already. Yay! Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Oh goodness, goodness gracious! I, I, I have to uh, let me just let me close the Let me close the Twitch stream. I confused myself for a second there. <laughs> anyway, all right, uh, y'all. Are, Y'all are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the audience. It's all yours. Yeah, do that. Hey. Right. Reset Hello. everything because it's stuck with whoever was uh, in that other one. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, dang. There we go. Yep. Okay. Well, Viv, would you like to enter this panel? Right. I would love to. Hello, everyone. My name is Vibrable, but you can call me Vib. I am a VTuber just like Glitch Kitten. And today we are going to be doing a Q&A panel about their Sega Festival. Festival yeah. of Ages. Hooray! Yeah. Let's, let's get some applause in the chat. Let's get some applause in the chat. Yeah, for, for yeah. sure. So, so Glitch, would you like to introduce yourself and explain what the Festival of Ages is? I would definitely like to, yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, uh, my name is GK, also known as Glitch Kitten. I am an interdimensional cat-like entity VTuber. Uh, and pretty much I am currently running a festival that has been a passion project for a very long time. <laughs> um, about, like, I want to say, oh my gosh, it's, 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 this is pretty much it's like fourth year running. I Ooh, think four years. Um, yeah. So, um, wow. Oh, um, okay. Sorry. Real quick. Um, nobody's PNGs are showing up anymore. Oh no. Um, yeah. Um, I think it, it acts weird with stages a little bit, <laughs> but yeah, nobody's PNGs showing up. 
Oh no. Well, we'll just imagine it's, it's it. That probably, is it's probably because I hit that accept invite that you gave me and it broke everything. So oh, no. yeah, oh, everything's no. broken. It is but okay. It, it, we'll it figure it out, won't it, we? It, it's the golden rule. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be without something going wrong, right? True, <laughs> true. Yeah. We love scuff. We love scuff. Thank you. Uh, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it and I'm just going to make a new browser source and make sure that it works. So let's do this. Just turn it off and turn it back on again. Always works. Yep. Close. <laughs> okay. Nope. It still comes up with, for some reason, this only happens in the stages for Revo, where somehow it will say that I am hanging out in another stage but i'm not there so i don't know who's hanging out in that other stage that has the sonic icon it was like sushi or something but yeah their icon is the only one showing up not your guys <laughs> so <Hello>. yeah <laughs> i would probably have to like exit and re-enter but i don't know if it will do it so you yeah, know what no, we're, just well, gonna, well, we're just gonna run with it honestly it's yeah. fine yeah. So, uh, so get, getting back to, to our Q and A, is how did this get started? What was the idea behind this whole fe festival? Uh, geez. Okay. So, funnily enough, the way that this festival actually started uh, was via a joke. Um, and it was. Sonic, so, like uh, the the SOS or uh, Summer of Sonic exists, right? And it goes on in the UK and I cannot get there. <laughs> I cannot get there. It is too far. Um, so uh, obviously I can't uh, get to it. And so at the time I was like, man, all the cool stuff happened so far away. It's so not fair. Um, heck it. I am just going to make a festival of my own. I'm, I'm going to make my own version and I only planned for it to be like two weeks. That's it. We love um, to see it though. And I just played a bunch of Sonic games for two weeks straight. Everything was Sonic themed and stuff like that. And, and that was it. It was literally a joke. Uh, Rockstar, thank you so much for the follow. But um, I, it was a joke and then people ended up really liking it and was like, are you going to bring it back next summer? I said, I I guess I could. Yeah, sure. Why not? I like playing Sonic games anyway. So then the next year comes around and it was so much bigger. Whoa. For one, the very first like official, official festival where it was called GK Summer of Sonic because it was a digital homage to the actual festival was four months long. Whoa. <laughs> it months. was from June to September. And it was everything you could imagine. SOS 2021 was insane. It had so much going on. There was so many Sonic games being played. There was so many like little mini tournaments here and there. It was just a whole bunch of things. And genuinely we played through so many that after 2021, people were like, yeah, you got to keep doing this. Like, we're looking forward to the summer, like, every time. So 2022 rolls around. And that one got a bit more organized. We had much more production value on that one. We started having guests, uh, you know, and, and, and tournaments and stuff like that. And, oh, my God. Uh, once 2023 rolled around, one, I was capped to only do it for two months because during... Uh, 2022s i nearly went out of commission because it was a three-month festival a dial down from four to three months oh, still no. a lot still very long lots of people uh 2023 ended up just being the two months which is just july and august which that's the sweet spot we're staying with it was so much and we did so much during the 2023 where we had guest panels. We had the Sonic Riders tournament for the first time. We had Pixel Panic, which was, you know, a cart game mode that I came up with a while back um, and like several different mini tournaments. There was so much packed into those two months that the month after the festival, I lost my voice completely. Ooh. For an entire month, I was not able to speak or even make a single noise. It was gone. I got so sick afterwards. I hate it was, it when that it was my life day in, day out, you know, as it is this year, too. Um, but this year, it finally being it's, uh, it's under its own name and its own banner. And that's huge thanks to Dreadnux because last year I had reached out to him and was like, hey, I don't want it to seem like I'm stepping on toes. And we are going under the name SOS. 
I just want to know like what I can do to keep this festival going. Cause obviously I can't stop now. And you know, what, what can I do to, you know, make this a real thing, but not be encroaching on territory. Well, one mm, was yeah. changing the name, obviously. And two, he was extremely supportive of the festival. Like he was just like, we love what you're doing. Um, and, and anything that we can, you know, do to help in, in any way for next year's, let us know, but we're going to be keeping an eye on this. And I was just like, that's insane. I was so stressed out too. Cause I was just like, what if you <laughs> shut this whole thing down? That's we're going suck. to watch you. Yeah. I was like, it's going to suck. And I was like, which ones are they watching? I don't know. It was like a couple of days after opening ceremonies and I already was having a heart attack. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, a- after that, like they even helped vote on our new name, which is festival of ages, uh, which works so well. Oh, um, I love and that. all the marketing and, and production, everything, finally found its place because everything was all based off of sonic stuff and everything like that now it's based off of the y2k era for sega um i, love that. I think we really found our footing with the designs and stuff and now we get to show love for everything sega not just sonic so it, it's I... nice that's kind of that's kind of where it's been and now we we have two weeks left of the festival um and Mine it's really been a wild ride by. so far yeah it's been a wild ride yeah, that's awesome. I love to see it. I really do think all of the other like Sega franchises deserve appreciation. You know, many people like probably don't even know they exist. Like Knights for one. Like goodness gracious, people have been asking for a third game for like so so much time, so much time, myself included. So yeah, it's just great to see um other um Sega franchises that like aren't Sonic getting the love that they deserve. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already, I see some hands raised. Yeah, um, would, you, would you like to call uh, call up someone, babe? Yeah, I would definitely love to call someone up. All right, let me see. I'll call up the first person. How about Prankster? Come on up. Yeah, and if you have a question about the festival or even a Sega-related question, go, go yeah. for it. Yeah, please talk to us about Sega franchises. I would love to hear your questions about Sega franchises. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically nights. Specifically nights. <laughs> Specifically nights. Specifically Only nights. nights. Only nights. There is no brain, just nights. <laughs> just nights. Nothing else. Maybe Space Channel 5. Maybe that too. Yeah. That's a Space good one too. I love Space Channel 5. Anyways, hello, Prankster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The audio not working? Hang on, I got this. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Riala I, with the stream scum. No. <laughs> what have you done, Bab? <laughs> <laughs> my presence has over. summoned. My presence has summoned the red dream jester who causes sad problems. hours. <laughs> uh, sad hours. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, 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 it, try again. Okay, it'll work. Hello. Again. Hold on. If you can hear me, say potato. Yeah. Potato. Okay, we're, we're good. <laughs> potato. Yippee. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> we got it working, folks! We did it! Oh my Yippee. goodness. It only took one... It only took one browser refresh. One browser refresh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we love that. <laughs> we do. What, what's your question? My question is, out of everything that comes out of the festival for... um this whole thing what is your favorite part um about the festival itself my favorite part of the festival um <laughs> let's see gosh uh that's hard to pinpoint and the only reason being is because every year we have new stuff <laughs> um like this year was all experimental stuff because it was it was the first year uh, under our new name as an official festival so I'd say probably if I could pick this year, my favorite thing that has happened so far for this year was genuinely, I want to say there was two things. One was getting to do the interview with Dread because I just had such a fun time hanging out with him. And it was kind of my way of like just showing my appreciation and thank you for allowing me to keep running with this festival. Um, The support has been phenomenal. Um, But what I do really like about running this festival is how much people want the next one. Um, 
and and mm-hmm. like the festival will be over and everybody will always say like now i gotta wait till next summer for it to happen again and that means so much to me because it means that all the work that me and my team do for this festival is worth it when somebody goes this was the best summer i ever had or this was the most fun i've had in a summer or with this game or i i met people through this like last year there were people that hit me up and was like did you know i meet i met my significant other at your festival and i was like i had no idea oh my God. actually or did you know i met my best friend at your festival or i started you know vtubing because of this festival or other things like that and it's like that's insane people that's wonderful have literally been like i've started events now like speed running events or riders events or other things like this based off of the stuff that happens at your festival i just want you to know like this was so cool i want to do stuff like that and it, one uh-huh. i never know how to respond to those things except like i'm so happy for you because i am but also i don't know like i want to say thank you but like i'm scared it sounds weird if i say that <laughs> and uh-huh. it's like <laughs> It's like, I really appreciate that you like the stuff that I'm doing. I'm just a very strange cat thing. Please don't perceive me. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I love that for you. <laughs> okay. I don't even really know how to respond to that stuff. I really don't. I, I, I'm always thankful, though. It always means the world to me. It's not lost on me at all it means the absolute world to me that somebody is inspired by whatever i'm doing as silly as it is or as whatever and wants to make their own stuff that's all i ever want on this planet is to just do stuff and people go i could do that and they do it and that's awesome um achieve your dreams i'd say that i'd say that that that, that's my favorite part (laughs) that is a very love that for you Yay. A very thoughtful answer. Um, well, yeah. thank you for answering my cl- my question, Glitch. Hopefully, no more audio issues come up again. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you. Um, you have my best wishes. I'll be thank going you. now. Prank y'all later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Alrighty, right. so thank you for that question. Prankster. So before I call up the next person, my next question is what. What's a particular moment uh, during the festival that has really stood out to you? It doesn't have to be like this year. It could be like any, any of the other ones, too. That really stood out to me. Um, Actually, last year's writers tournament, because it was the very first one we ever ran. We had a lot of people Ooh. join that tournament. It was the most packed uh, arena quote unquote which is what I usually call the the venues for the tournaments but it was the most packed stream I had we had close to a hundred something people or more hanging Whoa. out for that stream the casino which we like to name the uh, predictions thing on Twitch because everybody <laughs> bets points as to who's winning burned down it broke we could no longer use it because of how (laughs) insane the influx of votes that were coming in during matches and they were insane we for so the festival of ages tournament is very special because it is all skill sets from like underdogs to to veterans to intermediate advanced like all skill sets show up for this tournament in particular it is a winner take all free for all all skill sets all walks of life enter this arena to battle it out and last year we had somebody who literally had only played the game for like a month or two and was pretty much playing it like they play mario kart ds specifically and just gravitated towards a board and was like oh this board is really fun to use they were the underdog they came in against advanced intermediate veterans and they swept when i tell you it was the wow. wildest thing to see this winner wow. come in you know and having practice and and everybody did so good but we ended up having a beginner genuinely skyrocket to first place over the course of three days it was a three-day tournament we had our wow. we had our preliminaries our semifinals and our grand championships literally back to back to back and love that each each tournament like day lasted almost six hours it was insane the matches we were getting and they climbed all the way to the top and became our very first sonic riders champion wow so that that one in particular that stood with me because that was one a three-day ordeal (laughs) in which i did not sleep and uh two was one of the biggest events that we kind of like 
chucked at the wall and was like, well, people seem interested. Let's try this out. It not only returned for this festival, which is happening next week, and it's a two day tournament this time, but it's now such a staple in my community that not only do we have our own writers team, which is called the Galaxy Gearheads, but we also have our own workshops. We have coaches. We have our own licenses that are literally branded with the team name uh, where you can get assessed and you can get your ranks and earn badges based on events that you go to. But we've had our beginners bracket, which was also our second biggest. And we've had, uh, you know, we, we've had other events. We have our Frostfall exhibition, which was our winter writers tournament. And it's just grown and grown and grown. And we're going to have even more writers tournaments this year coming up. It's just become its own mini community within mine because of the festival tournament that one festival tournament the question mark of is this gonna work and it blossomed into something that i am so glad to be a part of um so i'd say that that for sure oh, that, is, that is wonderful i did not know that the writer scene was so competitive oh Goodness it's huge gracious. it's huge really it's- Huge. Yes. And there's so many mods for Sonic Riders. Like there's DX, there's, you know, Evo, mm-hmm. there's, there's so many, you got the zero gravity regravitified. You've got tournament edition for Sonic Riders OG. Yeah. And that reminds so me more. I don't know which mod it was, but I saw like a mod that like added Hudson and Miku and Riala into tournament like, edition. Sonic Riders. Tournament, yeah, edition. tournament edition. Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen that one before. I've seen that one floating yeah. around before. That's Tournament crazy. Has some really cool uh, characters coming in. MC2, thanks for the follow. And uh, DX is the one that we use. The reason being is because DX is probably the closest to vanilla OG. Mm-hmm. Uh, with some game modifiers, of course, and stuff like that. It plays really well. But the reason we use DX is because it's much easier on entry for people to jump into. So it's easier to run tournaments and stuff like that for people to just start and stuff like that. We'll probably host some in, in tournament edition or heck, even if we could get zero gravity or like free riders to run now that free riders could be played with a controller, the sky's the limit. Honestly, there's so many awesome. different riders mods out there. I'd love to see what we could do with the stuff that's out there. Honestly. Yeah. 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 I'd love to see it. I mean, me too. Uh, well, I, one of my favorite moments from this year's festival is like when you were doing the Get the Music one and you were playing one of the songs from West Cap and like the contestants were like so confident that it was from Sonic, <laughs> Sonic, Sonic, <laughs> and Sonic, and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I felt and, so bad. <laughs> oh I know. God. And, and I, I knew what it was instantly. And I'm just like, I'm just like smiling in the background. And like immediately when the end was real, they gave the biggest shock Pikachu face ever. I thought it was funny. <laughs> it was uh, okay. So, uh, Vib, if, if for if you're not familiar, we have an event during the festival that is called Name That Tune Factor Cap. Oh it is gosh. also a returning event from last year. Um, it is pretty much Name That Tune. We play a song, and you have to name uh, where that song comes from, like the game. And uh, this year we've had, we have three different editions. Uh, in fact, we have our last one coming up this week. Um, but we've, we had Sega edition. We had side mission, which was strictly Genesis era. And then we had, we have the Sonic edition that's coming up very soon. Um, but pretty much, yeah, all contestants sit down, you hear a song. And then when it's your turn, you have to guess what game that song came from. And then somebody else will be asked, fact or cap are they lying that that's what the song is from or are they telling the truth once they answer it is now chat's turn chat then votes via prediction the casino opens yet again and they bet points whether or not you got the song right or you got the song wrong you know the game choice once all the votes get tallied up we then reveal and if you got it right then everybody who voted that you got it right wins points but if you got it wrong then that means everybody who voted you got it right loses points and whoever voted against you gets the points including the person who literally decided whether or not you lied or you didn't and there is sabotage in this game people will lie on purpose to try and get people to lose points it's ridiculously hilarious though everybody (laughs) like takes it all in good fun but it is it is a staple of the festival too it's a lot of fun i I love that i love that i wonder how smart your chat has been at that game they're insane on some of them some of them really know their stuff but there's others that they get tripped up kevin's seen it kevin's seen it i've seen it kevin's seen it sometimes they will guess it immediately and other times nobody knows what's happening (laughs) it's the best part 
insane. <laughs> we love that. Mm-hmm. I did. Anyways. Well, let me, yeah, let me call up the next person. I Dono Kaiju had their hand up next. Hey, Dono. Uh, can, you hear, uh, can you hear me? Yep. Uh, yes. Loud and clear. Hello. Hey, hello. Hello, everyone. Hope you're all having a hello. wonderful day. Yep. Yep, yep. All right. Yeah. So, also <laughs> hi on the Twitch side, if you can hear me. <laughs> hi, Twitch uh, chat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, yeah. So, a uh, glitch. Uh, good to see you, and always. Yeah, the festival has been very fun, and all that. Like, I've seen, uh, I've seen the streams and all that, stuff, and and all that stuff. It's been really fun so far, and I really enjoy it for what we're seeing. I think one of my favorite things so far is that when you're showcasing like a certain game, you would show a bit of information on like the history of the game. I really mm-hmm. like that too. Yes, yeah. the uh, guest panels. <laughs> Yeah, especially with the guests, like they say, oh, the the the, the console, the history, and all this. How is it built, and all that stuff. Like, 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 like that's really cool. I really like that too. I appreciate it. Yeah, we've had some really cool people come up this year that it, it really reached for some deep cuts this year. Like we had the Sega Pico for God's sakes. Um, oh, the Pico. We, yeah, we had some really good polls for this year, and everybody was so passionate about the game they chose. So I think that really helped. That they just they love the game inside out. So they were able to discuss all of this stuff like trivia and everything about it. So I'm glad that you enjoyed it. That, that was an experimental thing that I brought in last year. And uh, now it's like th- this year probably had the most guests out of, out of all the festivals. Oh, someone in discord chat said they recently announced the Sega E Pico. Yes, we saw that. <laughs> We're probably going to talk about that. That's crazy. That's a thing. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're literally making a new Pico. Another Pico? Yeah, Swole, who was my guest, who did the Sega Pico guest panel, literally freaked out and sent that to me earlier. And I was just like, so are we going to have to do something like that next year for that? Are we going to have to get Whoa, that? <laughs> so I we love might, we the, might, who knows? I love the blobby graphic design. It's so mm-hmm. pretty. Oh my God, I love Blobject stuff. It's super fun looking. It really it is. is. Super fun looking. It has a great color palette. It's It's very interesting. It's really nice to look at too mm-hmm. all right Gosh. interesting all right so on to my question before thinking because i don't want to take too much time for the other audiences yeah, 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 no yeah, problem yeah. all right so <clears throat> so i do have a question so um uh i am kind of new to the festival so i don't know if this was asked before so i'm quite curious to know so i kind of joined um this year for this festival so mm-hmm. so yeah so my question is this so um uh, I I think you said that there's only two weeks on the festival, but I've I had to ask this because I got this on my mind for a couple of days now. So uh, I know the festival as of right now is only focusing on the many different Sega franchises out there. I mean, obviously outside of Sonic and all that stuff. Uh, but I'm quite curious to know if it's possible for something like uh or like either next year or maybe something like for a special occasion. Is it possible like for to explore other things that are that are aside from the video games like we're talking movies comics tv shows or even stuff like abandoned stuff like sega world or something like that i'm quite curious to hear on your input so funnily enough that you mentioned that but a couple of my team members like the the staff for uh foa shout outs to them because they've been fantastic for a lot of this stuff uh have been discussing whether or not to have a podcasty type thing talking about the comics like the archie comics uh their evolution and going into like where IDW is now and stuff like that. So that's definitely on the docket of maybe discussing those a bit further, talking about a lot of crossovers that Sonic has had. Uh, We'd love to discuss the movies. We'd love to have a cinema segment where we discuss uh, some movies that have taken into Sega properties or the Sonic movies in general. Um, Really want to delve more into the voice acting aspect of most of the Sega franchises and their direction. Um, because we played Ill Bleed recently and did a guest panel on it. Um, and the voice acting direction for that is ridiculously all over the place and so good. It's like Resident Evil. It's so campy wow. and it's over the top. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. But uh, like there's that. a there's, you know, discussing like the new direction that they took for Frontiers for voicing and where the nostalgia actually sets for a lot of the VA stuff when it comes to all of the older titles on how a lot of those lines were delivered. Yeah, they're not delivered in the best way, shape or form, but it's the 
cadence of what they're delivered. The delivery itself is what we remember. That's what sticks to us. And it's so very important. I'll um, make you eat those words. Yeah. So like <laughs> they stick with us. They're so silly out of context. But when you think about the moment they're linked to, it's insanity how like that stays in our mind and really like directs our personality a little bit. Right. And what we like. But yeah, we're we're looking into expanding into a lot more stuff. We want to talk about more consoles. We want to talk about the arcade cabinets. We had a whole segment <laughs> about the old arcades. Hi, dog. Um, and uh, yeah, we want to talk more about the, you know, the the arcade consoles. We want to talk about the the wave of arcade games. Some of them lost to time and others, you know, still kind of floating around. Um, we have a lot of stuff that we'd like to expand on, but we're always open to suggestions because Sega as a franchise has done a lot, like genuinely a lot. They're everywhere. And so yeah. even with all the stuff we're getting now, they jump into so many different mediums, um, though it's hard to grab all of them for two months. We definitely want to try and expand our, our reach on talking about more Sega stuff and Sega adjacent stuff next year. So, yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, that is that does that definitely sounds fun in, in, in a way because there, like I see, like you said, there's a lot of stuff. Like, like obviously the Sonic movies as an example, and they just announced a Yakuza uh, a Yakuza series um, in um, uh, for Amazon Prime, and, and we saw Kelp was here, that. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, awesome. And of, and of course, if Kelp was here, he would love to talk about stuff like Persona because you know how Kelp he loves Persona and stuff like that. <laughs> Because that is also another Sega franchise that I'm pretty sure he would love to talk about. Mm-hmm. It's funny you mentioned the Persona because they just announced a Persona thing today at uh, Really? Yeah, uh, I saw that. Yeah, for uh, Persona 3 Reloaded. Yeah, oh, no, there's awesome. a lot of stuff coming out. It's kind of insane how much is coming out so fast. I'm still in denial about Nights 3. <laughs> <laughs> one day. I, one day. Uh, one day. It's gonna happen. Tell- True. Oh. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my question. I thank you so much for the answer, and uh, yeah, and have fun at the festival. And uh, yeah, if I get another question, I'll raise my hand up. See you guys later. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's so nice that like people are like that are new are are enjoying the festival. Um, yeah. Because it, it, like I said, it, it literally started from like a little joke, and it is expanded into a passion project that I never would have seen coming in a million years. <laughs> So oh my God, I should have like asked you something like after the stream about mm-hmm. like, the festival potentially next yeah. year. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like. Her, 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 her. Ooh, I can already. Ooh. It was it was crazy because just to do guests this year, I had to do a sign up sheet because uh, I had gotten asked throughout the year, and I was like, too many people have asked, and I can't keep track of them all. So let's make a sheet for it. And this year alone, fifteen plus guests. Fifteen oh, plus. Wow. 15 plus. Wow. 15 plus, many, which is literally double what we had last year. I have, I have a, a how many people applied? Uh, 27. 27, and uh, you had to like seven. cut that in half. Wow. Um, Insane. and some of them didn't even like apply through like the the form. A lot of them like directly DM'd me. <laughs> and so, I was like, wait, wait, we have a form for this, please. I'm Let begging. Me in. So, Let me in. <laughs> uh, and of course I couldn't take everybody because then th- there was not enough days. Then we wouldn't be able to do any of the other like stuff that we planned, the other events and stuff like that. And I already knew August was going to be very busy because that's our tournament month. That's when a lot of like community tournament games come out for the festival so like i was like i can't do that many guests in august i think i have done literally a guest for every day in august so far. <laughs> it ended up not ended up not working out on that front but you know what it's fine we've had a lot of fun so it's it's all good oh insane insane so next, right. next year, next year you put out that kind of sheet. Uh, let me know. I, I will. I will. Apply. Please, 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 please. Yeah, I, was I think I'll probably be releasing it. it. I'll probably be <laughs> releasing that those signups like early because I released it like two months before the festival started. And oh my god, <laughs> I think I'm going to release it in like January so I can get stuff like settled immediately. Like I don't think people like realize except my team who literally begs me to take a break like every breath I take. Um, and I yeah, don't really don't blame them for this. Though. I don't blame them for this. But like, as soon as the festival's done, maybe a month passes by of like recuperating, but I am already planning for the next one. Oh, <laughs> like, ooh, it together. It happens. But I, I will probably take it a little easier this year. Cause now with all the stuff that we experimented with, 
for this festival. Every single thing we've done for this festival was like new that we hadn't done in the last festival, only with some returning stuff. So it was good to know what worked and, you know, what was kind of like, this needs a little more work to it and da da da. But yeah, I'm excited for yeah, next year. Yeah. Well, yeah, definitely let me know when you get the sign up sheet um, posted. Yeah. Because I would love to like talk to you about nights and whatnot. That would be a really fun one. I, yeah. I know somebody on my team who literally would love to freaking do a collab with you about freaking like nights. I would love to do a collab with yeah. them. Yes, please. That would be fun. Yes, please. Please talk to me about nights. <laughs> uh, Got to try and get the night VA too. And I know how to get a hold of her too. That would be very cool. I'd love I to interview Casey them. I miss Casey Robertson. I know people know him from like Sonic and the Black Knight, but he also did Riala from Journey of Dreams. And I'm just, he might That's one thing off. I'd love to do for next year is get some voice actors to come he hang did. out and stuff and, and do some interviews or even play a game. That would be fun. Yes, yes, yes. I'm I going to harass to Dread to also come back and be like, you're playing monkey ball with me. You have no you're choice. You're monkey ball and <laughs> you already said like you would. <laughs> you already said you would. You're going to come play monkey ball with me. I don't care. You're going to play Super <laughs> Monkey Ball with me, and you yep. are going to like it. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I also said I was going to get him into writers, too. And I was like, Oh, yep, my God, yep, that would I be awesome. Care. I was like, you're my friend now. That was your mistake. I will I will make sure you play all of these games. It's going to be great. You're my friend now. We're going to have soft tacos now. later. Yep, that's pretty much how it was, yeah. <laughs> He's such a sweetheart, though. <laughs> like, yeah. love that. Yeah. I love that. with him. He's such a goofball. I love it. Yeah, uh, did you have another question you wanted to ask, babe? Um, wait, I should call up the next person. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, go, go for it. <laughs> right. Oh, the chaos is settling in. Goodness gracious. Right. How about we go with Ira? Come on up. Hey, Ira. And you're muted. Hello. Oh, you're muted. <laughs> hello. Oh. Hello, this hello. Is this thing on? Yeah, yeah, it's on. It's working. Okay. Um, hi. Before I ask you, but before I before I ask you this question, I am new to the festival of ages, and also my name is pronounced as Ira. Ira, so sorry. Gotcha, girl. gotcha. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. So, well, the festival of ages. This seems very. This seems very enjoyable. Okay. <clears throat> Appreciate it. <laughs> yes. And, um. Very nice to meet you, Vip or and Glitchkin. Or I don't know if I said your name correctly. Yeah, it's lovely nice to, to meet you. you. Yeah, yeah. It's your brain okay. cell. I want to ask this question. Well, the fe- the f- in this festival of ages, I may be new here. Um, wait, in the festival of ages, do people ever talk about cosplays or something? That's been on the docket, actually. A lot of people have wanted to talk about like the Sonic fandom within the convention space, uh, which we really want to touch on next year. Um, we've had that idea for a little bit because I, I actually know a lot of cosplayers who do that. Um, and they genuinely would love to like come on here and really talk about the intricacies of creating costumes that are very like one to one with the material and also taking a lot of creative liberties. Um, so I've definitely thought about it for sure. And it's definitely on the docket for probably next year um, because that is very much part of being in the Sega fandom is obviously in the convention space. Um, this festival is pretty much run like it is a convention. So uh, having that kind of discussion and even like maybe having, you know, cosplayers come in like via a workshop and even like talk about like making costumes or starting cosplay, you know, with Sonic characters and stuff like that would be a really interesting concept. Uh, but it has definitely come up for sure. Oh, that's awesome. That's very, that's very interesting, GK. Or should I say glitch kid? Well, yes. I hope that does. I hope that does. An- I hope that does answer my, my question to you. And uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, literally, the festival itself is created to represent everyone. So, yeah, that's awesome. I've been like looking at your Twitch cat. I, I, I Twitch cat. Hello. I have a Twitch cat. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I'm not allowed to take strays anymore. Where are they? I, I can't do this. Anyways, I, I was looking room. at your Twitch chat. I was looking at your Twitch chat, and I saw. I wish we could get another night's game that's similar to the first. I'm staring at you with my big old eyes. I'm staring at you true. with my big old eyes. It's true. <laughs> Understand. Oh I, I my think God. I played Nights last year uh, for like the the first time in a long time because it had been like so long since I played it. Oh, so which I, one? Like, the original or sequel? Yeah, the original. And oh. um, 
it was it was so nice at first i was like struggling so bad <laughs> because it, it is a learning it's a learning curve it really it is. is a learning curve thank you sally once- acorn for the follow but like once you get it you're like oh oh this is so fun oh the adrenaline oh <laughs> like, <laughs> yes 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 exactly so yes right it's good and then once oh, you man. learn the levels you're compelled yes. to be like oh can i do this faster how many laps can i do after i the got bonus optimization. time the optimization the optimi- is insane <laughs> the the replay value for those levels levels are are as soon as you start getting optimized on your roots your lines and stuff like that it's so unique the feeling of completing those levels and being able to make as many laps as possible within one run to get as many points as possible and you're like how much can i get on this lap that i don't have to worry about on the next lap and i can optimize it to finish at this time for the next lap and you're just like it's insane. You're doing like 50D chest with yourself. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. Right? Oh my yeah. God. I, I just need to, I, can I flex a little bit? I have like a score of 440,000, um, like, four, like hun- hundred, like let me, let me just, uh, my brain cannot brain today. That's so many um, numbers so- already. I'm frightened. I got That's like so this good. plus, I got like this plus on Spring Valley. Spring Valley? Yeah. <laughs> I get caught on the environment in that one like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to get the exact number later, but like uh I, I'm not sure if I even remembered it correctly, but my scores for Spring Valley and Splash Garden are insane. That's awesome. What the yeah, heck? I'm I'm normal about this game. I play it on a that's Windows so 7 cool, computer. That's so cool though. Like that, that's the thing. That's why I love running this festival too is like people that are so passionate about these titles when they get to like show it it's so nice it really is because like other people will be like okay so it's not just me that really likes this game or really feels connected to it in a way you know what i mean i'm the most normal knights fan out there (laughs) (laughs) understandable understandable i've had like my friends in my group chat tell me i'm like the best knights player in the group chat i i believe it that's not gonna be contested anytime soon I, Man. I, I, yeah no I, like, I got i got somebody that like genuinely i'd love to see you guys go head to head in a knights game that'd be cool oh my god that would be, be yeah, really no, geez no pressure or anything <laughs> oh, okay so like d- d- literally off topic just for two seconds uh, like there's there's another event i'm slowly concepting for next year that i want to try having during like january and stuff like that and it's literally a speed run charity event um, kind of oh. like GDQ, but it is specifically Sonic games and it's also specifically Sega adjacent games. Um, so like anything that you can definitely speed run that is viable uh, and that includes like nights or, you know, doing runs in Sonic Adventure or completing stories and like heroes and other stuff like that, you know, get put up and then people compete head to head one on one and people, you know, can bet points and stuff like that, but also donate. And a friend of mine who is a big Sonic collector would have the their specialty items for auction and all of the proceeds would go to animal welfare. Um, oh, I and love that. I just feel like gathering people that are so passionate about these games to the point that they optimize how they play it to a fine tune is Goodness. so important because it just shows like the energy that these games bring and it brings more people into it. Like, I'm good at nights, but I don't, like, optimize stuff. Like, if I can optimize it, yeah, sure, but I'm, I don't, like, take it seriously. I'm just, I'm just built different, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's for charity at the end of the day. It's not a competition. It's more so, like, competing for fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. The but dragon yeah, was difficult to, to attack. Fix that concept, though. <laughs> oh my god, Gilwing! I hated Gilwing. Anyways, uh, before we get too off topic, before I go on my nights info dump spree again, uh, we should go on the next yeah, person. Yeah, yes, we should. Breach, man, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> oh but yeah, my Kurt, god. Kurt had, had I need to stop while. myself. I physically need to stop myself. <laughs> hey, Claire. Hello, Chris. Hello. Hey, how we doing? Hey, hey what, are you, what are your questions? All right, so, uh, well, uh, there's a bit of an interesting one. Uh, has there ever been an idea that's been in our minds since the beginning of the event that hasn't been done yet? Uh, has there been, has there been, like, an idea for an event that hasn't been done yet, is what you asked? Yeah. Like, ever since you were thinking about doing this. Oh, gosh. Um... 
most of the stuff that I like wanted to do or like decided to do, we do as soon as we think of it. I am not going to lie. Uh, one, one of the ideas that literally spawned this year and I just did it a week after thinking about it was like the Sega podcast, which was me and my team talking about different Sega IPs and like their foundation within the fandom and stuff like oh, that. That was that. literally, I was talking with my team and I was like, it'd be really cool if we did a podcast, all of us to like do that. And within that same weekend, we did it. <laughs> like, That's so, so awesome. Most of the time when there's like an event, I really want to do, if there's time, I will make it happen. Um, if it's not like, if there's just not enough time to do it, if it's like too big or something like that, then I'll like save it for the next year or add it on to another event that I run throughout the year. Um, but there, there's been a couple of stuff I really wanted to do. I wanted to do uh, Sega Karaoke this year. Did not oh, have yes, time. Please. We did it last year. Couldn't do it this year. Um, the uh, the festival VR chat meetup I wanted to do <gasps> this year. VR couldn't chat. do it this year. We did it last year. Uh, had a huge group. It was like 30 people. Um, and it was really fun. Couldn't do it this year, unfortunately. Um, uh, that is among a couple of other things. Yeah. Cause like last year we had the, um, we, we had the, uh, green hill rave, which was, we oh. blasted a bunch of like different remixes of like Sonic songs for like hours and everybody got to like, you know, hit the dance floor, have a good time. Couldn't do that this year. Um, so there, there was a couple of like really big events, that were fun that we couldn't do this year based on time Aww. constraints. Um, but that's okay. Honestly, we got to do a lot of new stuff this year. So that is, that's fine. Um, but yeah, a lot of like the, the taking a trip somewhere else type deal, quote unquote, is the stuff we couldn't get to do this year. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, sometimes that happens. Like the, 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 this festival, like during the planning phases, we'll have like eight documents to it for events and people and other stuff like that. And I want to say like maybe 75% of that doesn't actually happen in the festival because of time. That's a shame. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it just means we move it on to the next festival and it has enough time to breathe and be in its spotlight and not clustered by the other ones. So yeah, 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 yeah. hopefully hey, that, that answered your question though. <laughs> yeah. did, I, did, did, did I answer your question? Okay, of course. Yeah, of course you'll see me around, you know, GK. <laughs> yeah, of course. I appreciate it. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my planning is like half the fun too when, when it comes to come to. Oh yeah, party. absolutely, Ooh. absolutely. I mean, like I, literally, the other name that was up for vote for the festival's name because Festival of Ages won, but the other one was Spin Dash Solstice, um, oh. and that ended up getting taken, and that's going to be its own event in the year. Ooh, um, exciting! So we're thinking of making that a winter event, and that might actually be what the name of the charity speed run event is going to be called because it's mostly going to be sonic stuff so i think it'd be it, we still ended up running with a really cool name um and it didn't have to go to waste and all the sonic stuff we've been doing for like the past you know sos homage festivals now have a new home somewhere else um but anything that we can't do for sega stuff if they happen to be sonic we could literally do during that event or any other events throughout the year so uh thankfully it's not all a loss but yeah sometimes we just kind of have to look at the checklist and be like half of these we can't do which sucks so yeah maybe next year hopefully. yeah yeah there's always next year bunch of stuff we got to do this year that we didn't get to do last year so i love so. vr chat so yeah mm. i also love hearing about like the history of like sega games sega consoles oh and me too it's really yeah. interesting to hear about like the development process and what how much work really goes into each game like how much we lost, how much we gained from like the development periods. And it's just really cool to see. Yeah. And we really wanted to focus on that, which is why we also have those, um, those professor Swolcat segments where, uh, every so often we'll have a video play, uh, by one of my team members who made it, who will literally go in depth on a piece of Sega history. Uh, I think the last three, that we've gone through was uh, the arcade boom, uh, the VMU and the games that came on it, uh, as well as I think the Sega Saturn. So I think there's two Ooh. more Sega history segments coming up soon, um, but they, they spent a good amount of time on them and they are, they're lovely in terms of like production and they go through a lot of information. They, they're a lot of fun. I enjoy them. Honestly, it makes me so mad that the great mother got strapped, scra scrapped. Scrapped in Night's Journey of Dreams. Sadness and chat. Yeah. Indeed. 
It was so yeah. sad. We lost so, a lot during the development process of that game. We did. Anyways. So my next question is, before I call up the, the next person, is what is the one guest you would love to have on, on the festival? Ooh. One guest. Oh, man. There's so many. And a lot of them are voice actors because they uh, influenced me um, yeah. to do voice acting. Um, I am not shy at admitting this, but a voice actor that literally works with us here, um, I met him a really long time ago in the YouTube space when he was Ooh. like doing Sonic dubs way back when and went by a whole different name. And through his videos, I got so inspired to be a voice actor and since then continued. And I've been doing it for gosh, years now in, in, in spurts here and there because r real life can just be like that. But it has been one of those things that I could never let go. And, and the Sega franchise and the voice actors in it, especially the fan voice actors have absolutely inspired me to keep doing that because it's just another medium of telling a story, which I adore. So I'd say, gosh, I'd love to to talk with, you know, I'd like to talk with with Roger specifically. The only reason being is I want to understand what his take is on being one of the longest running Sonic voice actors right now. You know, in comparison oh, to the Japanese voice great. actor, obviously. But oh, he's had it. Kanemaru. I love Kanemaru. Yeah, he's had it the longest right now. And it's insane because he's seen it through two different eras, which the other voice actors didn't get the chance to do that. Hmm. They kind of were of their era. And it's, I was very grateful to grow up with most of the Sonic voice actors. So I got to hear many different takes, many different eras. You know, I got to hear like Dev do it for Prime and Roger do it for most of the games we have now. Yeah. And, you know, Ryan Drummond for, you know, Adventure and, and Griffith, even, you know, Jaleel yeah. White and all that stuff. So like, I'd love to talk to them and just, want to understand the process of really getting into character for this knowing that this is this is the personality this is the voice of a generation that's hearing this and that's going to be their sonic like that's insane yeah. to me it's it, it, that you're their sonic that was their childhood you are their childhood and they'll the grow up with all up these other ones and you were yeah. it you know the kids that are growing up nowadays are going to grow up with roger and that just yeah yeah, for totally. sure. That's so yeah. cool to me. Like, we don't even know if in the future we're going to have another voice actor for Sonic. I mean, we we have a cinema Sonic voice actor. We have a, an animated series Sonic voice actor. Like, we have so many different variants. Mm -hmm. So it's like people growing up with like these three currently, it's insane. I you know, know Japan you have, like just you has Kanemaru, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You have three. You you have three Sonics. Your mom lets you have three Sonics. Like that's insane. So yeah, yeah no, I grew I, up with Griffith, yeah. but um, so yeah. I it's it's so cool to me that now the kids are going to view Roger the same way that I vo uh, that I viewed like Griffith like growing up. Yeah, you know? and uh, gosh, the shadow voice actors and. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I just honestly, the voice actors like I can't pinpoint one because they've all affected me in a way that has made me love doing voice acting and love the Sega franchise as a whole and storytelling. Work um, is so cool for real. I, I that have to be my answer. It'd have to be like, it's got to be the VAs. It, either of them. They're all so uh, impactful and Ooh. worth so much to the franchise and, and to the stories that are being told. I don't think I could even solidify one. That would be like the most exciting. They all have a story to tell. I would be excited either way. As a voice actress myself, I agree. It's so good to like talk to people who have been like in the industry longer. And yeah, I, I most definitely look up to them. And, and now that they're starting, now that the legacy voice actors are starting to come to conventions, and you know the the attendees yeah. are saying like, "Oh, you know, you were my you were my childhood voice actor growing up," and then all I'm that. I'm so I, happy that about that. I really am. I think yeah. that's the, that's the coolest thing ever is to see these guys show up more and just be like, "I can actually thank these guys for opening my doors to a new." hobby that ended up like that yes. I would love to be a profession someday but genuinely yes, helped me make other people happy just mm -hmm. through my voice that's awesome 
Yeah, I I totally feel that. It, it really is a good feeling whenever you get to, like, help someone with your voice. And I'm sure you can, like, attest to this, like, GK, like, seeing the amazing voice work you've done for Sonic Revo, you know? I appreciate it. It was an honor to get casted for Sage, and I love voicing her. I would love to do more voices down the line um, yeah. if ever needed. But being Sage has been so funny because her in Frontiers, I didn't think too much of her. Um, because I was more obsessed with Sonic just taking a nap. Please, for the love of God, go to sleep. <laughs> but like, <laughs> yeah. So but then, like, ended up like as somebody was like, "Hey, you do a really good Sage. You should try this. You should try that." And then eventually, like, Revo going, "Hey, want to be Sage?" And I'm like, "What? <laughs> okay." <laughs> it just so, it just snowballed. Yeah. Right. And then after that, literally, people were like, "Can you do this comic dub? Can you do this?" And it's all Sage. And I was like, "What has happened?" <laughs> <laughs> and, and it all started from it all snowballed <laughs> out of there and i was just like man that's and why we're happy cool. to have you here we, we'll say that. yeah no yeah, I, i'm are. very honored i've met so many cool people here and it's it's been a lovely experience i hope to do more for sure i feel the comic dub thing like i've gotten like people like hey can you voice this as jewel hey we need a jewel there is no jewel we need a jewel <laughs> God. It's always two characters. It's either it's either no, it's always three characters. Sometimes it's Blaze. Sometimes most of the time it's Sage. And sometimes it's Amy, but it's always a specific Amy Rose. It's always adventure Amy Rose. Oh, and I sit yeah. in the corner and I cry. Because I'm like, why was I cursed this way? Oh, Joyard, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, well, let me let me bring up the next person. I know Rockstar had their hand, hand up next. Uh, come on up, uh, Rockstar. Hey Rockstar. For 15 hello. minutes or so. <laughs> hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. I gotta say, l- l- I, I, I gotta, then I, I, I gotta say, after listening about this whole festival thing, I'm quite ashamed of myself. I didn't know about this sooner. That's all good. I mean, like, I'm fairly small, and this festival kind of just started getting its footing in like the last two years, I'd say. So, uh, it it being rebranded now and really knowing what it does, it, like for sure, for sure, its direction and stuff. I'm I'm more happy people are finding us now <laughs> than, than maybe finding us last year, where I felt like it was a mess, but fun, fun, <laughs> but a mess. Yeah. On, I, 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 on, then honestly, I should I should I should sh- sh- probably participate in, in in these things. It seems interesting. It'll definitely be around next summer. I promise. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> I'll keep that. I'll keep. I'll keep that in mind. But onto my question: uh, What's the most difficult? What's the most di- di- difficult thing that comes that, that that comes across when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, running this festival? Most difficult thing. Um. So I'd say this is the biggest event I run among several that I run, uh, whether it be tournaments or workshops or other things like that. So this one takes the most time for prep. Uh, Most of the time when this festival starts coming around, I am already prepping for this festival. I want to say in like March, Um, I'm already getting guests together. I'm already getting documents together, listing out the like a huge array of games that we're going to be covering. I have a team that helps me that has developed over the time of the festival. Actually, they were people that were like, we love this festival. Let us help. And it's been amazing. Um, but they, they help with testing out all the games that I'm going to play to make sure they work, uh, getting any uh, emus set up that need to be done, which, you know, emulators, um, or if I have any hard copies, getting those to run properly. Um, anything production wise, like the stages, the sets, which are the screens and stuff like that, the new costumes, um, just getting all of that stuff ready takes about genuinely like three months of prep maybe four if i'm lucky i can swing a four um but i'd say it's definitely the prep the prep is the most difficult part because so much goes into it um and i have to coordinate with so many people to get things situated whether it be making sure the guests are good and know their days and getting the schedule set literally a month before the get the festival happens the schedule's already done like if you look at july and august it's just color blocks every single day it's already laid out months in advance all i have to do is just recheck in with people and make sure everybody is set for their times stages are done tournament brackets are made everything is scheduled people that need to be in certain places are there 
and that I have anything else that are for the solo stuff ready. It takes 90% of my time for those months. So technically for me, the festival starts in March (laughs) via prep and it doesn't end for me until September. That's the festival is literally all I do for those months. Um, So yeah, prep, definitely prep. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> honestly, the, the, the fact that the, the fact you keep this on going for four for four months straight. Yeah, I'm in, I mean, I'm, I'm lucky. The rate. I'm lucky. The festival capped off at two. It's two months now, thank God. But the four month one that I ran, we it ran so long that even Sage happened during the festival, and we covered Sage. Like that's how long the festival ran for. I think it was almost oh, October insane. before we ended the festival. It was the longest one. We will never do it again because I almost died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, it was, hey, it was hey, fun though. <laughs> nonetheless, I am, I, I am impressed with your ambition. I'm, I'm impressed. I, I appreciate it so very much. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm, 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 I'm really excited for this weekend at the festival too. I will say. Yes. I am too. I am very excited. It's going to be, it's going to be fun because it's also new for my community, but they're very interested. So I'm, I'm excited for it. It's going to be fun. Yep. All right. Well, what, 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 well, I think it's safe to say that's my question. So, uh, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for the question. Woo. All right. Yeah. Thank you for that question, Rockstar. So, Viv, did you have another question or wanted to call up the next person? Oh, yeah. I'm ready to call up the next person. How about we call up Radar? Come on up. Hey, Radar. Hello, you bunch of cool people I know. Hello. 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 Uh, for for first time interacting with the festival, I will say I will say that much. But it's like, wow, you a lot has happened. Good. good, good, good. <laughs> I do. I, I unfortunately had to miss a bunch of stuff because, well, summertime. But yeah, understandable. Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh. Yeah, no, I'm I, I I'm really excited to see what this week's going to be all about. Uh, I'm not missing I'm not missing a single bit of it. Not happening. Uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm sure there, I'm sure I'm sure there will be a next year. I'm sure, but it's like mm, mm, you, you <laughs> only have one chance. You you don't know you don't know what will happen in the future. It's unexpected. True. True. These these next two weeks are definitely going to be packed. They're the most busiest. Is these next two weeks for sure? Uh, you've been chugging along. This whole uh, this whole project of yours, it's just man, and, and hearing about a, the four month one. Oh yeah. my gosh! I I, w- I I have pity on everybody that had to go through that one. <laughs> I'm sure they had a nice time with you. I'm sure they did. I mean, yeah. I mean, it was probably a hassle for you, but I'm sure it was still a nice time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm really excited. I hope everything goes well. It's everything has been going well, but I'm sure I, I hope I'm hope yeah, you're able absolutely. to make it to that that to that final stretch. That final stretch. We're Two nearing more it. Weeks. It's, yeah. Two um, more weeks. <laughs> uh, anywho, I've got question about the festival. I want just because like I, you know, it's nice hearing about e- even again. The four month one, you still you still had fond memories of such. Um and I and I and I and I and I was like, oh, you know, reminiscing on memories and stuff is like, ooh, I think I have something in mind. So, uh, Glitch, if you can tell me what would you say out of any of the festivals that you have uh any of the festivals you hosted, um, what was the funniest moment that you ever had? Funniest on stream or uh well, anywhere else, honestly. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness! Funniest moment that doesn't have to do with the festival. <laughs> um, let's see. Funniest moment. I'd have to say, actually, a stream that stood out to me this year was the April Fool stream. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yes, the April Fool stream because that is when the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog dropped, oh. <laughs> and oh. literally. <laughs> <laughs> the night before, right? The night before, because it dropped, a shadow dropped in the middle of the night. And we were just like, oh my freaking God. And I was like, oh, I have goodness. nothing planned for April Fools. I had one thing planned, kind of. But then I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're doing a live dub of this. I <laughs> went on a crusade for two hours, grabbing everybody I knew 
and was just like, you're doing this character. And they're like, all right, I'm in. And I was like, you're doing that character. They're like, I'm, <laughs> right, I'm in. We had the entire cast, seven plus people. And, and, and we, we had the, the entire cast like done. I didn't even know who was in this game. I just grabbed multiple sources of who might show up and grab them some people ended up voicing two people because i didn't know who was in it so we grabbed everybody and we don't no rehearsal no nothing we just all jumped on live turned it on and that stream went for seven hours straight seven hours straight? seven hours straight we played the entire game it was full improv all of the the voice actors that i got banter like no other it was insane so funny and I also had to play the entire game without my glasses because my model wouldn't pick up on my webcam at the time with my glasses. Uh. So I played blind, which means that all of the uh, all of the dream gear segments blind. <laughs> I couldn't oh, figure out where I was, no. but I passed them. I beat them all. Yes. Please um, tell me you have a recording of that stream. Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Please, of course I do. Please, 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 please. I have to watch it now. Of course I do. I gotta, I, I'm pretty sure that VOD is up and it's live. I have to double check it, but I will send it. Um, Which I would love to do something like it that with was, you. It, it was probably the most fun I have ever had with all of my buds who all do, you know, VA stuff. And it was just, it was a fun time afterwards we needed a day of recouping because all of our voices <laughs> shot afterwards but we it was <laughs> the best it was the best it reminded me of when we did the live dub for doki doki literature club as a oh joke my God. and that was fun also also nearly 13 people for that because it was a game show it was a va game show uh called director's cut in which chat would roll the dice and that was like either the type of voice we were doing the scenario we were being given we would have to swap roles if, you know, chat rolled the dice. I was like, oh, now you're Sayori and now you're, you know, Yuri. And you're like, oh, crap. OK, <laughs> so it was fun. Good so day. I'd say that one, that the April Fool's stream, that one, Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Best, best stream ever. Best stream we ever. Love that. I would love to do something like that with you. Man, the dubs Beautiful. sound like a whirlwind of a time. Wow. It was good. It was a good time. <laughs> the, nah, the nah, best part about that, you did blind? Why? No. I did. I played blind. I had to. I, there was no other way. There was no other way. It was also the birth of Gorb, which is what we named Barry Gorb. for the playthrough. His name is Gorb. Oh and if you are in my <laughs> server, you will see the sticker that literally says Gorb moment. And it is just his head staring off in the distance with like a sticker <laughs> on his forehead that says Gorb moment. I love that. We made it canon that he eats drywall, by the way. You know how he has like his pocket gelatin? He also has pocket drywall if he gets nervous. I've eaten nothing but drywall for the past three weeks. Same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's a special guy. We love him. <laughs> we love him. We love Gorb. <laughs> I, I was, agree. Um, hmm, I was going to say, uh, uh, Viverpool, I understood that reference. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, the Gorb the Quokka. Oh my yes. God. I need to see that VOD. I Glorb. definitely it's fantastic. see it now. It's fantastic. I will, I will definitely link it. I, I definitely will. And anybody who wants to see it absolutely can. A lot of wonderful VAs on that one too. So they're all listed there. They're all great. They're fantastic. Oh, I can't get the stupid grin off my face. Just hearing <laughs> about this. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was so much fun. It's infectious. That entire run was great. It was so good. I, I absolutely there's wonderful. there's a lot of joy that the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog brings, and it's just Oh my god, <laughs> true, true though. I want another one so bad. We need I want another we VN so bad. We Please. all do. Uh it, keep randomly I, I, shadow I, dropping I, them. I I I I well. Well, they said that it did take a lot of it did take a lot of time uh, to make it, but who knows True. the fu the fu the future uh, is undecided and unexpected, but it is also uh, well just as exciting and surprising. So uh, who who knows a lot of, a lot of good things have been coming from Sega lately. So we can only hope. I agree. True. Yeah. True. Yes. Uh, yes. No. Thank you for that. That was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm sorry it's like just wow that that is truly a moment i'm that is that is the best that is the best answer i could have gotten to a question yet wow i'm glad i, I love my friends they're funny <laughs> uh, thank you so much i have thank I hope you, you have very very good time very good time yes it i appreciate it very good time that is all i can say
Yay! <laughs> okay, now, now I really can't wait to see what you have planned for next year, in April Fool's <laughs> at the top. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a mess. We already have something being planned for Valentine's Day. Wow, <laughs> nice. we love that. So, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Uh, so my next question is, if, what is the one Sega franchise you would love to see come back outside of what they, they announced uh, in that oh one, one video? Um, let's see. Well, I feel like I feel like Bomb Rush answered my jet set. So I'm like not super like it's not that I'm not excited for like the jet set coming out. I am. Mm, um, yeah. But I feel like Bomb Rush already like scratched that itch that I had. Um, I, I will shout out my bud mocha for having another sega rally come out that would be cool um i cowards bring me another sega bass fishing make it amazing give it back <laughs> like do another one gigantic even put it with marine fishing make it a combined thing let me fish off of the empire state building let me catch a freaking bronx fish i don't know it would be so cool um but I feel like there's there's a bunch. Fun floof, thank you for the follow. Um, there, there's a bunch that I feel like I would love to see come back. I think actually bringing back a remaster of some of their puzzle games would be good. Like Choo Choo Rocket. I feel like oh, a yeah, lot of Choo Choo Rocket. 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 That would be really fun. Um, I, I, I really like that one because that one's so unique. It shows up in writers. It's been referenced in a lot of things. It's it's really adorable. But like I feel like everybody really likes Puyo, right? And, oh, and Mean Puyo, Bean and yes. stuff like that. <laughs> and and wouldn't it be cool to have more puzzle games like that? Like I feel like Choo Choo is is unique uh, enough and simplistic enough in certain aspects where it ramps up in difficulty over time that a lot of people could find it addicting. Uh, I think that one would be a really fun one to do. For sure, Kelly. Thank you for the follow. Um, oh, and but yeah, and so I'd say I'd say uh, an obscure pull, Choo Choo Rocket meme, and also I really want it. I want another Sega Bass Fishing and Sega Rally. I, my summoning <laughs> circle is, is for Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg because that game is so much fun. And it's it's only... physics, and I will agree. <laughs> that that was your first time playing it, wasn't it? Wasn't it? It was. Played... It was so fun, though. It's the cutest game I've ever seen. <laughs> Such a good game. To restrain I myself also from vote going... for Billy Hatcher. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I, I'm going to restrain myself from going on a long info dump about a certain franchise with two funny dream jesters. We'll put knights in the summoning circle. Also, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> yeah. I. I. Yeah. I think. I think those would be really fun. I think those would be really cool to to bring back. Please, I need more development. Pulls, I need pulls. more development. Of yeah, Riala's character. Please. Also, give please. me a remastered Space Harrier and Afterburner. Yes, 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 please. yes, please. yes, yes, yes. They're yes. so good. Please. <laughs> right. I know Space yeah. Channel Five. Afterburner's got to be the most addictive shooting game I've ever played. Oh, it, it is so much fun. So good. I know Space Channel Five just got like a VR game, but like, please, I want to. I'd see love to see one. a remaster of their games, though. Right, I, I agree. think it'd be fun. I want to see a lot Space of their Channel songs are stuck in my head. Super good. Yeah, I agree. I love it. Right. Well, let me call up Sally Acorn, who had it and up next. Okay. Hey, okay. Sally. I was muted the entire time. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How, how are you guys doing? Doing pretty good. How are you? Doing good. I'm doing fine after uh, I just witnessed the um uh, <clears throat> the whole new Sonic trailer for Shadow. <laughs> oh oh yeah, I saw that. Super good. Super good. Super fun. I'm so it normal. I'm so super normal. Good, and we are so, so back normal. that we see Metal <laughs> Overlord again. It. Yeah, I, I yeah. When I saw that, I was just like, man, they're really they're really going in for the fan service polls now. Good yeah, for Sega them, honestly. I don't want them to be scared of that. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a good trailer overall. I really yeah. liked it. Opened I up saw a lot Shadow of with the Wings and I died. It's I perfect. Died I too. screamed. I, like, yeah. I screamed. We're back to the early 2000s and I love it. We are so oh, back. We, we are so we back. We are so back. Yeah, Bring me back so to the Y2K, back. please. <laughs> Kevin, I know you're excited as well, like, because I gave it to you. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. Sonic I, Rumble. I am high. Sonic Rumble. All right. So b before I answer, I ask a question. Uh, Viv, I, I remember you. I remember you since we played together in the Sonic yeah. Rumble. We, I was a beta tester for Sonic Rumble. And oh, we nice. Together. 
That's the Fall yeah. Guys one, right? Yeah, that yeah. is the Fall Guys one. It was so fun. It was so fun. <laughs> it was. Uh, I was actually there. I, I was not expecting she was there as Amy. <laughs> What can I say? I love Sonic Riders. I love Sonic Riders. <laughs> Ooh, Me too. Hi, dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my dog got spooked. <laughs> dog ripple or glitch? It's, um... <laughs> glitch dog, I guess? Glitch all right, dog. Alright, all right, Josh. I'll give you... I'll give them a question. Good, all right. All right uh, the question is, uh, I, I actually never went to the Sega Festival before, but if you had a chance to listen to the, everybody's favorite jam track on the Sega Festival. Which one it should be and why? Hmm, jam track. So, funnily enough, the festival itself has had specific songs matched to it for certain things. This year's song was Wave Ocean, actually, uh, for the festival's, like, opener. Um, so probably that. Um, but if it has to come to, like, tournament specific jams i'd say probably sky babylon is one. Oh my god Ooh, yeah 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 metropolis that from sonic free riders because it's a jam um i think it's from free riders i think it's from the 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 original writers the sky babylon no, 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 Sky Babylon I'm talking about is actually from Sonic Rush Adventure. Oh. Um, yes, I know the pull. Um, because it is also a, a favorite in the car communities. It's also my favorite track. So we love that one. Uh, Metropolis from Sonic Freeriders is a really good one and a bop. And I think the only other one that I would say is pretty good is actually a fan song from Ooh. Sonic Rush 3D. Um, and Ooh. it is uh, Astro Colony, which is Whoa. a really good heavy nice. metal pop. Uh, super, super good. So I'd say those. Those are the Ooh. ones we've been jamming out to for the festival. And the reason being is because the festival playlist has reached its 556th song added to it, and it is still growing. Whoa. So, Whoa. yeah, that, that, that playlist has been growing since the very beginning. <laughs> so okay, you every like year, that playlist when you get a chance? Absolutely. It actually shows up in the uh, chat. All I have to do is hit a uh, playlist and boom, and it should show. I spelled playlist wrong. Oops. <laughs> dyslexia hit me like real hard there we go current yeah. playlist festival of ages so Ooh. that's the that's the mini playlist the really big one i'm talking about we go through all the songs that are in there and then we pick out the ones to put in that playlist so the one that shows up on this one is probably in the 400s it just needs mm. those extras added to it and it will hit its top marker <laughs> Hmm. oh that's actually cool what about you but uh, you up for that it's it's super good <laughs> Yeah, I love I love Sega music. So good. Hmm. I actually like the Sega music as well because I think I remember the the one of the podcasts of uh, Radio Sega. I think I remember they had like oh a remix God. of uh, Ice Cap from um, Sonic Three and Knuckles. I'm going to talk about the official Knights remix album. Oh. There is an official Knights remix album. I, I know I showed Kevin before. I know I showed Kevin before, but there is an official remix album of some of the tracks from the original Nights into Dreams. And oh my God, it is so good. It is criminally underrated. And I need everybody here to listen to it right now. Kay, thank you. Oh, I like it. I like it for the day. It is good. I'm so normal about Nights music. I'm so normal about the Nights soundtrack. But I, I do love the um, Sonic R soundtrack too. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 which one? Can you feel the sunshine? I knew it. Da, 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 da. I also like Regal Ruin. I also like Regal Ruin, too. Oh, nice. Um, hmm, I know what ten tracks I, they should probably add from the mix. Uh, you know what they should bring the mix except before I go? Um, I would say to bring. They should bring the mix of uh, of Sonic Frontiers. There's a uh, for the. Uh, oh yes, I love the Sonic Frontiers Ranger soundtrack. Flame. Yeah, I love the cyberspace stuff from uh, Sonic Frontiers. Yeah. Yes. The cyberspace. Right. So good. Chef's kiss. I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> it's 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 perfect. Anyways, yes. uh, thank you for the question. No problem, babe. I will see you again if we had the chance to encounter in the Sonic Rumble. Wee!
Also, shout, shout out to uh, Sonic who like blasted through uh, Sonic R and that and that stream like what about a day or day That's or so ago? Crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, he, he completely freaking like well, well, we did every single story mode in the shortest amount of time possible. But yeah, it was fun and just listening to the the Sonic R music is always a good time. Oh yeah. All right, uh, Bib, did you have another question you wanted to ask, or did you want to call up next person? I was going to call up somebody else. Uh, okay. Let me see. How about, ooh, I love the Pomni profile picture. How about we call up Atlas? Well, oop, oop, good day. No, no, there they are. Hey. Hello, hello. 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 Yep. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I really don't have, uh, I guess I do have one question. Uh, I have never been part of this at all. So I literally just found out thanks to Josh Hodgson. So shout out to that dude. Thank you. Uh, I looked at his profile and noticed uh, there was a thing on Twitch. Joined that. And then I found the Discord. Uh, so hello. Welcome. This is my first time being here. Well, welcome. Glad to have, have you. you. Yeah, this sounds really exciting. And it sounds very similar to uh, something my friend was talking about. Uh, I heard a lot about like Sonnet Rider stuff here. So uh that's something i'm definitely interested i don't have it for pc but if i could get it um i used to have it for gamecube but i gave it away uh to another friend we swapped games but uh yeah now i regret giving it away because it was actually a really fun game uh it's very fun yeah it is fun it it is so fun uh I, i would love to get back into that game specifically uh i'm definitely rusty it's been like several several years uh, but if I can get it on computer or emulate it and join in the like uh, participation, that, that would be amazing because I have a friend who does that and I, I want to be a part of that. So, no, yeah, why not? So, cool. no lie uh, in my server. Like I said, we have our own writers team and we have coaches and other stuff like that that help uh, people crazy. learn the game and stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> I would never have thought from one tournament we suddenly would form a team and coaches and licenses and assessment days like we we have all sorts of stuff. The beginners bracket was uh, is a really good way of jumping in when you're like just starting. We usually have that happen during spring, um, but right. we're trying to have more of those come up. But yeah, no, if if you're interested in learning, we can not only help you set the game up and get the right ones. We even have our very own texture pack for the That's server itself, um, where a lot of our people actually work on different skins and even level texture packs and stuff and different things for like the UI and other stuff like that. Um, we have a lot of fun. We actually have the festival uh, texture pack that released yesterday. No, today, actually today. Um, wow. So that was a lot of fun. There's a lot of new uh, character skins in there. We have Fiesta Sonic, which is also fun um, because Ooh. we have a seasonal Sonic that releases with every texture pack. Uh, well, currently, cool. we have a Sakura one and a Frosty one. So we have a Frostfall one and a Sakura Blossom one. So Fiesta is, is up there so for much. summer. That is so much dedication. Holy crap. We do love That's our amazing. funny little writer game. But yeah, um, like I said, we have we have licenses that literally anytime you, you come in and you want to practice with coaches or you want to get assessed so you can move up in rank, you can do that. And we'll like walk you through stuff. We'll teach you new tech. Uh, we literally have a workshop tomorrow um, in, in my server for not only people that are going to be competing in next week's tournament, but for people that just want to like, you know, try the game out, see if they like it and other things like that. And we're just going to be going over the basics and getting people comfortable. So That's great. Uh how can I join your server? That sounds amazing. Um, usually I'd be like, lol, look at the Twitch chat and I, I'll, I'll post it. Um, okay, but, okay. uh, oh, I mean, you can post it there. I can go rejoin it and, uh, and find it. So I, yeah, yeah, you know, you're, you're yeah, free yeah. to put it, put it in the uh, show discussion chat if you want. Clint. Okay. I just didn't want to <laughs> overstep a boundary. <laughs> oh no, no, you're good. Yeah, I mean, you, you're the guy. I appreciate, uh, I think it's, oh, show discussion. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let me type it real That's quick. What I love about about this in, this entire series. I've been a Sonic fan since I was like six years old. Uh, my first game was Sonic Advance, and I played the crap out of that thing. I still have my Game Boy Advance; it still works. But funnily enough, but uh, I have always loved Sonic, and like just the entire fandom, the amount of stuff they do, and just how dedicated some fans are. It's just it's absolutely insane. Um, Anyway, I'm, I'm, uh, let me let me go ahead and ask my question because I don't want to take up too much time. I understand. Uh, I'm I, I get you. Here. But uh, so my question is, uh, so I'm I am a Sonic theorist. I'm not like super popular or anything. 
Um, I don't really care about being popular or whatever. But one of the things that I've noticed for a long time is the canonosity in Sonic is just so chaotic and there's so much argument. And I hate, I absolutely despise seeing how much uh, of a problem it causes in the fandom. Mm -hmm. And like it, it it's, it's just sad because like people are arguing back and forth. And I'm going to go ahead and say the biggest issue for all of this is it's not the fans. It's it's kind of like, and it's not Sega's fault, but it but Sega's kind of like the, you know, it's their game, um, but they don't give us a direct, you know, like, this is what's canon, this isn't what's canon. We have some of that, but then there's a bunch of, like, other games that just aren't even looked at or aren't considered. And unfortunately, I think that's just because of, like, the legal issues. And mm -hmm. I'm not blaming Ken Penders because, like, you know, it's his art or whatever, and, you know, there was no proof of whatever, but, like... Because of that, it led to Sega basically being like almost like rate limited to their own content. So they can't talk about the past. They can't talk about Knuckles. They can't talk about the history or, or any of that. It's super sad because all of that stuff contains the important material that would help solve, you know, the canonosity, even some of the stuff from the comics. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, my question is is there going to ever be a time where. Uh, y'all talk about Sonic theories, just just any Sonic theory or any kind of popular theories, and just discuss them. Yes, uh, actually, cool. super guilty of that for almost every stream. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but uh, awesome. my my favorite thing to talk about when it comes to the Sonic fandom is actually the character's psychological development. Um, and oh, so awesome. yeah, oh, a lot yeah. of the time we'll go through theories of how their personality and their uh, psychological like well being is not only tested, but also explored within a lot of the story yeah. uh, elements that come in through not only the games, but also just from reading material and many other things. I actually had a discussion with somebody today for like an hour about the trailer and what all the stuff they showed us in the trailer actually means story progression wise for Shadow and how oh, does, like awesome. exploring his alien heritage is actually linked to all of the experiences he hasn't had that Sonic has all of the Whoa. adaptive DNA that he has. It shows that his DNA is adaptive. And the reason that he has all of these different abilities really think about it because all they are is just upgraded versions of stuff that he has already experienced or seen Sonic and yeah, other people. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like his sense. chaos spear, the doom spear is just an upgraded version of his, literally his attack that he uses all the time. The boom is actually just an upgraded version and his own adaptive take to Sonic's Sonic Boom Kick in Frontiers. Uh, if you, good. yeah, and if you look at the morph, really all that is is showing that not only during the uh, incubation phase of like his DNA adapting, it's been on and off. Like think about how many times he's oh, like yeah, yeah. gone dark and come back and other stuff like that. That form literally shows that the adaptive personality that he has to his surroundings and to the stuff that he learns. The reason it's such an amorphous blob, it one is reference to frenzy from colors. And two, mm. it literally is a feral, uncontrollable, massive organic matter that doesn't take on a form because it itself is adapting to the environment in real time, which yeah, is no. literally going to be Eldrick horror. <laughs> what, what can you expect from him? Who's never uh, used this DNA <laughs> before. So it's stuff like that. But yes, we talk about that stuff a lot because I have writer's brain and I can't help it. So <laughs> no, no, I, completely, that I, I, I <laughs> Yeah, no, that completely does. And and honestly, I also suffer from that. I completely understand 100%. In fact, yeah. uh, the stuff you just said got my Sonic theory brain thinking. And now it's like, oh, wait a minute. Sonic. So I know Sonic <laughs> has been exposed and is constantly exposed to chaos energy. And that's part mm -hmm. of why he can do what he can do mm -hmm. and just adapt and, and run ridiculously fast and like always wins. But mm -hmm. not only that, but Shadow is too, because he was literally created by Gerald Robotnik using chaos energy and uh, Black Doom. We know that for a fact because he, they literally have to put inhibitor rings to stop him from being mm -hmm. overpowered. And that's insane. So it does make sense. Like, he could easily adapt. And it's probably not only that, but probably because Sonic and Shadow both share that chaos uh, energy, kind of like that constant uh, exposure. So they probably feed off of each other. And they do, but, you know, both rivalry, uh, rival-wise and probably that way, too. Uh, that's something I've never thought about or really explored, but that's, that sounds like a potential future project or something to look into. That's yep. cool. That's great. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll let you go with this one last little fun bit. His wings, literally just a representation from Kingdom Valley. Yeah. 
and oh, any damn. other any other movements that he has for the surfing and other stuff like that is literally his adaptive DNA taking on the form of human made vehicles through organic matter because the black arms would never use human weapons. Yeah, I like it. Well, your brain. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What I, I didn't mean to interrupt. There. No, no, no. Writer brain. It takes over. Please tell me. Fine. Please uh, let, let me let off. Me, no let, more drinks, barkeep. <laughs> uh, let me let me bring up the next person. I believe it was Emerald Cabot that had their hand hand up next. I'll, I'll call her up. Hey, Emerald. Hello. Hello. Um, I I just had a simple um, what what is your favorite character from the Sonic franchise? Question. <laughs> Fleetway Supersonic, please don't judge me. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I like finally, psycho- I'm not alone. <laughs> Dude, because I really like psychological like stuff that has to do with the characters and their personality, I enjoy the story about Fleetway Supersonic. The whole martyr being taken over by all of the negative energy trying to be a hero and not being appreciated and having it overwhelm him is insanely good because we still have the same question. If Sonic ever decided to snap, no one would be safe. No one would be safe. He is so overpowered and he can get everywhere so fast. He, we True, would be done. Right. We would genuinely be done. I love that take. I love that take of literally Sonic saying, I'm done. Because that would be the most dangerous freaking day. That's Doomsday right yes. there. That's Doomsday. Also, he's yes. fluffy and funny and I like his spiral eyes and feral teeth. They're cool. They're fun. I agree. Yeah. He's fuzzy. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's so I really like Fleetway, but I always thought the design looked really cool. Mm-hmm. I, I honestly like the idea of just the power overwhelming someone that he uses so much of it. Like, think of Frontiers. He used it so much more than he was used to. That was yeah. such a great foundation for them to somehow make it go bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, just once. Somehow, like, maybe on the third time he uses super form, there's just a flash of that, like, spiral red in his eyes for just a split second because of yeah. how tired he is and how much he can't control that much energy all the time would have been so funny. Um, but yeah, no, I'd say that one, that one. And then like Espio and shadow and silver are my favorites and blaze. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, well, thank you for answering my question. Thank you for the question. Yeah. All right. So thank you for that question. And we'll Uh, so my next question is before I like, uh, uh, Bev called the next audience member. It has any of the official Sega people at, at, stopped by the festival at, at all at any point? Uh, the official, like, official Sega people? <laughs> yeah, like the official <laughs> Sega people. Have they ever, like, made a comment or stopped, stopped by at the festival at all? Um, so, aside from, like, Dread, who would uh, probably could be considered only because he works with them sometimes, um, I'd say, uh, Devin, Devin stops by a lot. Who's the voice actor for Sonic and prime. Um, mm. and, uh, I actually been friends with him for quite a bit. Um, so when no that way. happened, I had to like go run, find him and be like, you're Sonic now. And he's just like, why are you screaming? Um, but <laughs> I, probably him and like, uh, uh, one time actually the, uh, stage artist for TSR actually <laughs> popped in Whoa. for a little bit. Oh, nice. and, they, and they did the art for my favorite stage and it was freaking uh, the Frozen Junkyard. I love Frozen Junkyard because the music is so good. So yeah, no. Oh my god. Um, so that that was a good time. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't say anything like super crazy. Um, but it would be cool if more of them like found us. That would be cool. I know we're we're fairly small and we're kind of new with this name. So I'm hoping like maybe next year we could reach out to more people and get maybe get more out there. But yeah, no, I'd say like maybe uh, of the of the few that I, I happen to know, probably them, probably them. Yeah, I, I I will say that's like Sega's just been so supportive with their fans. Like they they encourage a lot of fan creativity and fan festivals like like this like yeah. this one. So shout out to them on that. I think mm-hmm. that's a wonderful thing. Alrighty, uh, Bib Ripple, would you like to ask your next question or call up the next person? Okay, yeah, let me see. Uh, I see Jonathan's had his hand up for a while. Why don't we call on him? I'm ready for the question. Let's go. Hey, Jonathan. You're muted. Hello, everybody. Hello, hey. hello. What is what is your question? Oh, my question is. Well, my question is. Uh, uh, so, uh, if so, uh, uh, 
is if you could put any character or or legendary character, anything at all, anything at all, any any kind of character at all, which which one will you be? I think I heard it. I think Ben, you may have to help me on this. Did he say if you could play any Sonic character at all or any Sega character at all? What was that? What he saying, Ben? No, any any Sonic character. Oh, any Sonic character. I think that's like okay. If you could play any any Sonic character, what whatsoever, um, uh, go ahead. What would it be? Oh, if I could voice one. Yeah, is that what it is? Oh, if you yeah, could voice really. one. I, okay, oh I'm gosh, back. man. Uh, shoot. Uh, freaking give me Honey the Cat. She deserves it. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring her up to snuff. Let's go. <laughs> she That's deserves true. to be up there. I'll take her. That's um, true. Honey the Cat would be fun. Um, and and then for the meme, Amy Rose only because my community would never let me live it down. <laughs> would make fun of me so. Much. <laughs> I, I love how you did hear a car beating on the stream too. It's just like so yes, well I, done. I, 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 I and the the yes, I have a tarot card reading redeem on my streams where if you redeem it, because I love doing tarot readings, um, and I've been doing it for a while, I actually uh, turn into Amy Rose and then using Adventure Amy Rose's voice, I'll do a tarot reading for you. It's it's fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But yeah, that. no, I, I do Honey the Cat. Why not? She deserves it. She deserves the uh, voice. Let her be heard. That that is so true. true. That is I I agree on that. So I believe Revan is the next person to have their hand up. So call them up. And if Twitch chat has any questions for us too, yeah, we'd for, love for to sure. answer them. Yeah, for sure. Also for, for either on our Twitch or in Glitch Twitch, uh, Glitch Kitten Twitch. If I could speak right here, please. please, please, please. Yeah. Hey, 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 Revan. Hello. Hey, what is your question? Hello. Um, my question is, um, what I say? Uh, um, okay. Um, what I'm going to what I'm going to ask is, like, is there any like, is there any song like from the Sonic series that you're like like to listen to when you when you wanna just relax? Ooh relaxing songs i got two for you aquatic bass from sonic 06 is one of my favorite calming tracks even though the mm. level itself is stressful as all hell how dare you sega <laughs> um and then uh end of world end of world also from sonic 06 uh is also so eerie and yet it's so calming at the same time i don't know why both those tracks those are like the calming tracks i love them those definitely yeah. those there's a lot got, of calming soundtracks. Oh, so yeah. good. Now, I, I got a music related question for you. In your opinion, what makes Sega music, and not not just Sonic music, because we all know everybody loves Sonic music, but what makes Sega music in general just so good? I think it's because they're okay with being experimental with their music. And this can yes. be seen with a lot of their games and their franchises because, like, there's always that that feeling of passion, but not all of their music sounds the same. It just has that very passionate aura to it that you're like, that's a Sega song right there. That's that's the Sonic song right there. That's a Jet Set song. Like, it has that vibe. It's always so bouncy and upbeat and then can switch to cinematic and heartbreaking at the same time. I love it because it, it, it's... I feel like every song itself will immediately bring you to that level or that mission or that game, like immediately. It's so iconic. Um, I think that's what really stands out for the music that Sega produces, even from back then to now, because even if you listen to like all the old, old arcade classics, their music goes hard for no reason. Right? <laughs> so good. That's it could true. be the menu that's music for God's sakes. And it goes hard. So I'd say that I think it's, it's, they also tell a story through their music and that's why all the music goes so hard. Like it does. I think that's someone why it's so chat, integral. Someone in chat said somebody amigo. Yes. Sonic Amigo is so good, my boy, my son. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and I'm so happy they brought it back recently, too. Me, I lived. <laughs> <laughs> I lived. <laughs> Anyways, oh, my God, I really need to play uh, Samba de Amigo. I tried the Party Central demo, and it was, it was really fun. I do love that one. I think the only issue with that in terms of like the fact it doesn't get talked about a lot is because it's a rhythm game, and when you play a rhythm game long enough, you kind of see everything. And uh, 
it, it's really good. Don't get me wrong. The costumes are fun too. Um, but I think that's why it, like when it came out, everybody was excited about it. And then it came out and then that was kind of it. Like, you know, it, it has its, you know, songs and other stuff like that. I like that this time they went with pop Spanish songs. Whereas like yeah. way back when it was very like classic. Um, so I liked that. It was very funny. Um, but yeah, no, the, it looked fun. But also I just love Spanish music representation. Let's freaking go. In this house, we love Samba de Janeiro. Yes. Let I'm me with freaking you. We love Thank Samba. you. Yes. Thank we you. love Samba Thank de Janeiro you. in this house. <laughs> yes, we do. God, I could I could go on an entire TED talk about like some of my favorite uh, Sega songs, mostly Nights though. But I, I do love my good fair share of Sonic music and Space Channel Five music as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that, oh my that God. would just be like. Oh, sorry, go ahead, babe. I didn't I didn't mean to inter- interrupt you. There. Space Pirate Channel. That's it. That that's that's the sentence. Space Pirate Channel. Let's go. Yeah. It's so. Think about it this way. Like, Sega music is so iconic that literally the radio for Jet Set Radio, like the website, still runs to this day. Oh, really? I've seen that. Yeah. It still runs to this day. It's still great. It's still part of childhood and nowhood. It's great. We love Jet Set Radio soundtrack. Yeah. Nakanuma. Yeah. We love Hideki in this house. Like, I don't know if you if you've done it yet, Glitch, but if if you haven't, like one one of the one of the streams just needs to be like where we we just have like just go on and we just like listen and analyze like different Sega songs and and talk, oh, talk music about theory. Them. Yes, 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 yes. I would love to do a music theory type oh, of thing. Oh yes, please, please. I will show join you on that. Yeah. That would be uh, fun. I, yes, I know that's yes, something yes, we yes, kicked yes. around too that we kind of play with for Factor Cap, but yeah, no, that would definitely be fun. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I could be like, oh, this is a secondary <laughs> dominant. <laughs> this is in this key. This is how this functions, and this is how this chord moves to this. I would. I really need to brush up on my music theory, to be honest. But yeah, that would be so so fun. I would love that. All right, I know we've got about tennis minutes left. Um, but my my next question is, what is the most obscure Sega game that you wish most more, uh, excuse me that you wish more people would know about oh my god mm. that's a tricky one because i feel like the recently there's been a lot of uh there's a new wave of people really digging into these classics so there's some titles that are not as n- not well known as they used to be um and i think it's because we're having a lot more crossover and easter eggs about like these old ones like uh people like know opa opa and stuff like that from fantasy zone and and and, you know choo choo rocket and then you have like you know space harrier and afterburner and outrun and and sega rally and and all that stuff puyo knights uh sega bass fishing sea man um like there's there's a bunch (laughs) yeah there's a bunch out there so i don't know if i could really pinpoint which one would be cool if more people knew echo the dolphin I feel like everybody knows Echo, oh, though. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it, yeah, people definitely know Echo. <laughs> people know Echo? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's a great game, but oh, is it so hard. If you want to challenge, Dragoon, you play Echo like, the people know it, Even if they haven't played it. It's like Panzer Dragoon. They know it even though they haven't played it. I've seen a lot of people asking for Rystar. Like, Rystar. There's a lot of people that, like, know Yeah, there is a lot of people Rystar. that don't know Rystar, actually. Like, they know the character, really? but they've never played the game. Yeah. yeah. Alex Kidd, it too. Is, it, it's also because, like, Rystar is also, like, showed up cameo-wise in a lot of, like, Sonic games and the Sega All-Stars franchise. So, like, you know, it's one yeah. of those. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. Um... Would, Knights like, is more also gaining do. popularity, so more yeah. people know about Knights, which I'm really happy about. Honestly, yeah, I'd like more people to know about Knights and like some more classics. Kind of like like people know Billy Hatcher, but not the game. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of like characters are known, but not the game they came oh, from. Oh, Skies of Arcadia too. Skies of Arcadia is also one I'd love people to like know more about too. Yes, please, one of the best I'd love RPGs. to experience it. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I have it. Um, I'd like to experience it again because I've only played it once so long ago, though. Like, uh, I'd love to, like, re-experience it again very soon. And also, I see this get asked a lot, but Soccer Wars is another one that people, Uh... like, kind of say they know but don't remember. Or there's just not a lot of, like, talk about it. But I see a lot of people, like, mention it. 
Oh yeah, uh, Corey um, Maru, who runs uh, Sega Bits uh, and Sega Sonic Fan, fan Jam re- Remix, uh, he he's a big Soccer World Wars fan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I'd yeah, say yeah, I'd yeah. say like uh, there's a grab bag of a few that I would love to see get talked about a lot more. Um, I mean, it's kind of also like the whole thing of what this festival is is to bring a lot of these things to light that people may not know. Um, so to bring all these like titles back to the spotlight and be like, did you know that these existed and you should play them? You should try them if you can. So Bayonetta is yeah. kind of popular. Oh yeah. Bayonetta is a Sega thing, right? Bayonetta is popular. Uh, Bayonetta yes, is definitely is. known though. Bayonetta is in Smash. Bayonetta is known. I, I sure. always forget that Bayonetta is Sega. Oh my God. Well, yeah, technically they were like what platinum games and stuff. So yeah, technically. technically. Yeah. People also forget Persona and, and Atlas is kind of with Sega too. <laughs> Space Harrier. Yeah, Space Harrier is a good one too. Everybody knows the song, but don't know the game. Yeah, I ran into a lot of people like that too. I, I the only exposure I've had to Space Harrier. I'm gonna be honest. I'm outing myself here. It, the only exposure I've had to um Space Harrier is Sega Superstars Tennis. That's fair. <laughs> I'd like more people to also know House of the Dead. It's such a staple in arcades, and some people really don't know it, which is wild to me. Because I like, I feel like they have played it but not recognized it. I know House of the Dead because mm-hmm. Sega Superstars Tennis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. See, I don't mind that people get exposed to it that way, but that's kind of sometimes where it stops. They get exposed to the character and stuff like that, but nothing else. Like it's a tragedy people that were we with did that not. With Knights. I yeah. was with that with Knights, and yeah, then like. like it's, oh, it's a tragedy the zombie characters, characters in uh, Sega All-Stars Racing didn't get moved over to Transformed. Uh, At least I don't think so. It's very sad because they, they represented, you know, House of the Dead. And you don't get that. Rep- you only get the representation via like track. That's about it. The House of the Dead soundtrack bangs, though. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's, it's so good. So it's genuinely good. really good. But God. yeah, so I, I'd God. say that there's such a grab bag of various different titles that I would genuinely love more people to like talk about or look into because as soon as you mention them people go oh my god i remember this and it's it's a lovely feeling to have a memory core unlock like that i'm just gonna say this right now if you're looking into getting into knights um you can play knight's journey of dreams it's a little more beginner it's a little more beginner friendly because it holds your hand a lot but Mm -hmm. if you're looking for more of a challenge and the authentic knights experience please Mm -hmm. play the original yeah because journey of dreams changes so much stuff and honestly, I have mixed feelings about it. <laughs> a lot of people do, for sure. Crazy Taxi is also another one I though. want more people to play mm. or experience. At least experience the original and then like experience the other ones. The original is like so of its time. It's so funny. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So funny. It's such a Anyways, good time. Anyways, uh, yeah, we have think... more people for round two. I yeah. I, I so, get, did you want to call up Sally Sally next? Uh, yes, I was I was literally just about to say, why don't we call up Sally Acorn? Yeah, I would say <laughs> about, 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 about two, more, two more questions. I'm, I'm All right, guys. here we go. Welcome back. Ooh, yeah. Round two. Oh, round two. No. Round two. I don't know, why do I sound like, almost lo- sound like Robotnik from the, the Adventures of Round Sonic? Round two. <laughs> Snooping as usual, I see. Snooping as usual. <laughs> I love, I love that. Alright, so my question is, uh, if you had like a, if you have like a, like a, like never tried any of the non-Sonic games, which one, which game you should try to play and why? Oh my god. So no lie, I have a list. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I think on those, definitely, so Panzer Dragoon is a game that I've always wanted to try. I had it a long time oh, ago and yeah. never got to try because it got stolen out of my house. Um, and then uh, probably I would like to redo Sc- It's like Skies of Arcadia. Ooh, Real bad. Yeah. Oh, nice. Really want to try those. Billy Hatcher was actually the biggest one on my list because it looked interesting and I wanted to try it. I'm glad I did. I really am because it's such a cute game. Screw the freaking Carnival Park, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that part is the Carnival Park. Is Dino park. freaking Mountain. I hate Dino Mountain. All my homies <laughs> hate Dino Mountain. Oh, 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 um, no. But yeah, I didn't even have that much trouble in the snowy area that I did Dino Mountain for that last one. It's so not great. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I'd say, yeah, it, it would definitely be that I'm like currently doing arcade nights right now at the festival where we just grab a bunch of quarters and we go to the arcade list and we play a bunch of old Sega arcade games. Oh, I played awesome. quite a few mm-hmm. the other day and it was a lot of fun, but, uh, so far 
yeah, I have to say like Skies of Arcadia is one for sure. It's a big one. And uh, I'd like to retry Alex Kidd actually. Like yeah. really bad. There's not a lot to it. Don't get me wrong. But like, I just want to like re-experience it again. Um, and uh, yeah, no, it, it's it's probably it's probably those Panzer Dragoon, Skies of Arcadia, and probably Alex Kid, just so that I can experience it again. I'd say those. Oh, I see. That's a good list. Mm-hmm. That is a good list. I'm not going to lie. For, for and sure. And thank you for your question, Sally. And no problem. Uh, it and before I say anything, because I actually do have a favorite non Sonic game. I would say Yakuza is my favorite game. Ooh, actually, it's a good pick. It's a good pick. Yakuza is pretty yeah. good. Yeah, for, for sure. All right. Oh my god! I know we were talking about like difficult video game levels. I wanted to talk about this real quick. I hate State Canyon from Nights into Dreams. The only redeeming part of it is the music and Riala. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> the level design uh, uh, makes me uh, uh, physically uh, mad. We just, mark. we just love teaching you about it on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we have time for a couple. Yeah, more. okay. One, one more question. What, what, one more. Why don't you call up uh, Goken Chan, babe? Because yeah. he never asked a question. Of course, Sorry, Jonathan. Goken. Yeah. Oops. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I had to move them. There you go. Hey, Goken. You dare ban me from the stage and yet you're trying to I was to about to invite you up. I'm just <laughs> kidding with you. <laughs> we press the button at the same time. I know. Um. <laughs> uh, like every time when I'm called, I just immediately click speak on stage. Oh my gosh. I was about to say uh move I was about to say move to stage. Anyways. How is the panel and how are your days? How's where, your day? Where are you going? Wow. What is having, what is having fun geeking out? I think it's bigger. I actually want to give you guys a fun fact because today I'm at, I'm having the shadow snow from Bahama Box. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Yeah, and it's really delicious. Yum. But it's going to end next month. And now on with the question. So today, Gamescom happened. Mm-hmm. I'd like to know what so far what after what after everything what we have revealed that has been revealed so far mm-hmm. what games games are you hyped up the most based on the showcase uh vib you want to start oh what am i most hyped about the showcase mm-hmm. wait sorry i was reading something could you yeah yeah that? hype about the gamescom showcase oh i didn't see gamescom but i i, I definitely have to say uh the new shadow stuff like yes yes True, true. <laughs> he looks so cool. I'm just... Uh, I yeah. literally stimmed over that earlier today. I squealed, I, love... I screamed, I stimmed. I had it's a good super time. Good. Yeah. I freaked out. I was jumping across the room like a pinball trapped in a pinball machine. Just going... Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I'm so normal. That'll be slaying. How, exactly. How, yeah. how about you, Clay? I didn't watch Gamescom. Um, I, I didn't watch it either. Oh, I know. I it's didn't. The uh, stuff. As much as I love video <laughs> games, I never watch those because I don't need to. I'm going to be honest. I don't need to because everybody, as soon as it's over, will yell about it on every type of media possible, including literally, Discord. So all I have literally. to do is wait and then look, and I know everything. Uh, and then I got more work done that day and still got the news without having to do really anything. Um, hey. But I did see the Shadow trailer. I saw that on YouTube, actually. Um, and, Whoa. uh, perfecto. Uh, like I said, I had a discussion with somebody literally dissecting the entire trailer and what it psychologically meant for shadow as a whole moving forward for his personality development. Now that the chains were not there anymore. Uh, perfect. Great. Uh, lots of questions and aspects of open doors that could lead to a lot of possibilities with this move set and future games if they keep it. Um, but yeah, it looks good. Year of shadow. We are eating good for year of shadow. We really are. And I'm oh, glad yes, we, we, are are. we are eating Glad he's getting the so love well. he deserves. Genuinely you know, true. So I actually true. agree because the thing is, they Shadow's lore is adding a lot more, especially with Maria with her their own series. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, anyways, yeah. Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, we 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 we, we kind of got the no yeah. problem. Yeah. 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 And also like your profile pic, Riala in the profile picture. In this house, we love Riala Nightmare and appreciate him. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 
Well, anyways, uh, everybody, thank you for all of your questions and thank you for tuning in on Twitch and here on Discord. Yeah. Uh, and, let me just. Yeah, and thank you very, very much uh, for coming, Glitch Kitten. Uh, it, I, I know you're actually doing something with Sonic Revolution uh, in, in the Festival of Ages, if you would like to talk about that real quick. Sure thing. Uh, yeah, so I will actually be working with a bunch of the voice actors here at Sonic Revo. We are actually going to be hosting our own uh, voice acting panel at the festival. It's called Chit Chat Ooh. Carnival. Uh, we're going to have many different segments. I can actually go ahead and pull it up real quick. Uh, it'll show up on screen just as I'm talking about it, which will be a very good visual guide. So, Uno momento. Uh, there we go. Festival grounds and boom and boom. There we go. Okay. So, uh, we got a couple of segments. Josh is helping, uh, host this with me and I'm very appreciative. So shout outs to them. Uh, pretty much we have different segments, uh, where different voice actors in character, of course, will hang out and the community can go and ask questions about their adventures and other fun stuff. Um, it's going to be a great time. It's pretty much, uh, pretty much what you're used to here. Uh, but over there with a lot of different people, uh, we have the first segment, which is HQ heroes. That's going to have Sonic, Nux, Blaze, Jewel. Uh, we have team darks lounge, which is shadow Rouge and Omega. We have asset and assistance, which is Sage, Cuba and Omo Chow. We have maddening employment, which is Starline, surge and kit. And you have, so you've met Eggman, which is Fang and bell. And of course, Shout outs to all the voice actors that are helping out with that, which is HVA Andrew, Josh, Infectious Pink, Vib Ripple, Kelp VA, Irina Rooney, uh, JSA King, Prankster VA, MC Voices, Chris the Hedgehog, uh, the Ultimate Voice Actor, uh, Corey Incidents, Rockstar, Naze, and Heavenly Angie for jumping in and helping out. You guys have been phenomenal. Uh, and I appreciate all of the excitement. You guys have not stopped phenomenal. talking about it since it got like <laughs> talked about. So I really appreciate all of the enthusiasm and energy. Everybody's real excited to get to meet you guys. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, so I am excited about that. That is this Saturday on the 24th around 8 p.m. EST. Ooh, sure and it will be streamed here. So yay. Yeah. Anyways, um, go follow Glitch, Glitch Kitten on Twitch. Be sure to join her Discord server if you want to keep up with the Festival of Ages. And, uh, right, we're going to talk about the new cartoon night. Mm -hmm. The theme for the next cartoon night is DC superheroes. So if you like superheroes, you like the DC comics, um, I do definitely suggest you guys tune in this Friday. Mm -hmm. The pre-show starts at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. And the cartoon nights start at 4 p.m. Pacific time and 7 p.m. Eastern time. Mm-hmm. Right. And, yeah. Next, we have our next panel. Our next panel. Literally. In literally over an hour. Right. We have the Revo Replays. The Multiplayer Madness for, with Team Sonic Racing. Yeah. So, if you want to join the Revo Racers on... What I can't English today. If you want to watch, you. if you want to watch the Revo Racers race on Team Sonic Racing, then join that panel, and I'm I'm sure it's going to be a fun time for everyone. <laughs> oh, it's always, it's always a fun time, and uh, we and after after oh, we play, wait, 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 that's not a panel. Wait, anyways, uh, the next panel for real is Tea Time with Starline and Sonic, so he's going to be hosting another Tea Time. <laughs> Yeah, always a good time showing out with Starline. That's our next panel. Tuesday, August 27th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Be there or be square. All Anyways, right, well, so sorry. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, yeah. Well, 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 thank you all for, for coming. And thank you again, Glitch Kitten, for, for coming. We really wish you the best of luck with the rest of your festival. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And to everybody new that went to go check out and came to follow and join the server. It's so nice to have you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival for as long as it goes for and any other events that come up. We definitely have a ton. There is never a dull moment in that server. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, see you all later, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.